our screen. By the way, I forgot to add one. Ah, yep. oh, good. Uh, same, We're same. Good. I didn't either. So we just we go right in. Oh, you have right to also in. hit record. Oh yeah, I should record. Hey, hey, oh. we're live. Um, Ooh, we're Whoa! Yeah, let me make sure it works. Hold on. Cord. Wait, oh, whoever... yeah, I should record. Hey, oh, hey we're live. Hello. Uh, Hello. Hello. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> Together we can do the job of one Christian. Whoops. Hello. <laughs> Whoops. Wait, Rainy. I think you're the host, right? So I think either you have to record or you have to make someone else. I'm host. recording. Make me host. Oh, never mind. I'm recording on OBS. Oh, I can record I on Zoom too. Yeah. So okay. let's Perfect. just. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right, hi guys. <laughs> Recording in progress. Hello everyone and welcome to Mall Kids. We are doing our uh, best. <laughs> I apologize. No, don't apologize. You're doing great. Um, <laughs> we all don't know what we're doing. Yeah, uh, this just makes us appreciate Christian yeah, so much more. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. I have control over the DMs After Dark account tonight. Oh boy. Actually, that's probably for the best, honestly. Sarah will go mad with power. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm looking up right now if there's a radio shack around here. Oh they don't God. exist anymore, Jess. It went the, it there, went there's no brick and mortar stores. It went the way of Blockbuster. Brick and mortar shack? <gasps> brick and mortar shack? <laughs> brick and mortar shack. Hey, all right. Radio hey, shack ready. went to the great Blockbuster in yeah. the sky. Oh, I hey, should probably take over now. First off, uh, hi, bud. It's been a hey. minute. Yeah. You had the, yes. you had the big C, and then your little guy turned fucking two. Two. Yes, I have a uh, a, a two year old who round of applause for Owl. Yeah. Knock on wood is not uh, entering the terrible twos. He's still pretty pretty great. Uh, and um, okay. can confirm uh, the photos we saw of that party, y'all. I've never wanted a construction themed birthday party more in my yeah. life than after seeing yeah. those photos. Yeah. So cute. So. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah, sorry. I've been crazy busy and or sick with the Rona all the time, you know. Actually, uh, I had the Rona a while back, even when we were on stream. I've just never tested negative in, like, two months. So, it's just been, like, a... How many times do I have to go to this doctor and long tell them? C. Yeah. <laughs> the long C. Uh, but despite anyway. the fact that I am the chaos charge tonight, you're hosting. Yeah, Same sort thing. of. Yeah. Um, yes, we are doing gently a little guiding. Yeah. <laughs> gently guiding. Yes, this is technically a GM list game, but uh, I read I read up on it and I was reading all the rules and I'm ready to kind of guide us along the way. Um, this is a promotional stream for uh, what is an ongoing Kickstarter campaign. I think there's another week to the Kickstarter campaign mm -hmm. and it is for a zine called Mall Kids. It already has uh, an existing you know, the main zine, then there's already an expansion, more malls, more kids. And mm -hmm. now this is a new one that is introducing new genres to the mall kids system. Um, it was made by Matthew Gravelin. Hopefully I pronounced that right. And uh, you may know him from other games like Humblewood for 5e. And he also has a game called Clever Girl, which is a solo or two player survival game in a dinosaur park which is obviously an excellent, Hell excellent yeah. Jurassic Park reference. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I backed it on Kickstarter, obviously, because... It's I'll a problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly, because <laughs> I need more games. Um, but I also think it's just a super fun game. Like, I mean, um, you know, I love those real-world kind of just silly teen things. We've done a lot of those, like Pine Island, the game that we made, your campers and... Have oh, run kids um, on bikes. Brady, Clearly, I link to the Kickstarter so that we could share it with Chad. I'm gonna get it yeah. for you in Thank one second. You. Absolutely. And the, um, the scenarios um, in there are just like really cool, like really well done. Like they're malls. Like I don't even know if they're real malls, but they're really cool. Like described across America of like different settings. Like there's a very different vibe for every single one. Yeah. Not only that, um, there's a lot of really fun. Um, out there malls, right? Oh, I can't post this link. Can I? I gotta send this to you, Sarah. Yep. Uh, if you want to just put it in Zoom chat, I'll send it to... Uh, you got it. Um, yeah, not only that, he, you know, they have uh, their last one, the expansion uh, for Mall Kids. They made a bunch of other malls, like Mall at the End of the World, mm -hmm. and one that's like up in space, and like a bunch of other, like Spooky Mall and stuff like that. So Massive Mall uh, is one that kind of plays like the uh, hero's journey, like high fantasy like the mall is so big you need to make a journey to cross it which is just funny oh i love it 
Um, but what we are running for this Kickstarter campaign is we're going to be running Super Mall Kids. Um, there's a couple new genres in the expansion. If you go check out the Kickstarter page, you can see there's going to be action teens, vampires, um, Super Mall Kids, Night Market, which is kind of like, uh, you know, I think that's supposed to be more gritty, um, urban legends, stuff like that. Yeah, so um, going to be very fun. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing some Super Mall Kids. And the premise is... Um, we are superpowered teens trying to hide our powers because if people know we have powers, then we have to do more work. So, that um, <laughs> yeah, exactly. That that ain't what we're about. Um, real quick, I'll go over the mechanics, I guess, before we jump in and introduce characters. Is that cool? Yeah, perfect. We'll um, need those mechanics. Yeah, it's actually, it's a very simple game, but it's very fun. And I think at least a few of you have probably played the game that mechanically it's based on, which is Honey Heist by uh, Grant Howitt. Mm -hmm. Yes, so it is, uh, mm -hmm. it's it's roughly, oh, thank you, C-Stock, for checking out my solo series. <laughs> um, wow, what a way to phrase that, too. He's at the <laughs> climax of me playing with myself on the internet. That's perfect. That me is. too, bud. Me too. That captures um, <laughs> not the theme of the game, but the theme of the series. The yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I know. And uh, I'm going to be doing more. Uh, I'm going to do another uh, series on playing with myself on the internet. But I think it was funny. I did a one player one shot recently and I called it oversharing on the internet, which is like a totally different problem uh, for playing with myself on the internet. But anyway, um, so mechanically, it's very simple. All of our kids have, all of our teens have two stats. In the core one, and I'll ask you guys if you want to switch this up later. Uh, in the core, you have corporate and cred. So corporate is playing by the rules and being a good worker and doing what you're supposed to be doing at the mall and in your job, uh, being responsible. Cred is being cool with the teens, you know? Um, it's for, you know, it's when you rebel and when you break the rules and when you do things to be selfish, you know what I mean? Like show up late for a stream or, you know, uh, work, I mean, work. <laughs> yeah. um, take too long on your break, etc. Um, but where it gets interesting is both of these stats start at three at the beginning of the game. Um, you want to roll a D6 and roll under your stat. So at the beginning, we're trying to roll one or two to succeed. Um, but those will shift back and forth because if we succeed on an action and we were following rules or I wrote being generally conformist, um, you have to move a point from cred to corporate. So now your corporate becomes four, your cred becomes two. You're much worse at, uh, you know, chilling with the teens. Uh, whereas if you succeed on a roll through chaos or impulsiveness, Look at you, Amber. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> team Chaos representing you. Oh, you're the lone Team Chaos tonight. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, I'll boy. bring extra chaos. Yeah. This is also um, like new one shot crew. Like, yeah, this is a brand yeah. new one shot crew. Yeah. Um, then you move a point from corporate to cred. Now, um, obviously, those could be moving around throughout the course of the game. But if you ever max out on a stat, you're out of the game. If you max out corporate, oh, uh, you, you give into the to man. Corporate. You, you give into the man, <laughs> and you just and you know you you buy what they're selling, and you mm. just become too responsible to hang. Whereas if you give into cred, you give everyone the finger and you walk out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you know, Love yeah. It. Um. So, uh, yeah, and then and once per beat, which is how they frame the scenes of this game, uh, you can voluntarily shift between your stats, but you need to give like justification as to like how you do that. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, right, all right. Yeah. We are, uh, Smitty asked, do you move a point regardless of success or failure? Um, you, so if we're just rolling and it's like generally nebulous about like completing an action and we say, oh, it falls under corporate more or it falls under, uh, cred more, then we just want to roll under. Um, yeah. And, um, but if it's like, if your action is specifically, you know, guys, I got to do this because, like, I don't want to lose my job or, like, I need to follow the rules or I need to do this. Then we can say, that was you being corporate, like, shift a point. And we'll just all be responsible for calling each other out kind of thing. We're really um, good if, at calling each other out. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, and other than that, a couple things. Uh, the game takes place over several beats, they're called, during which each PC gets to basically narrate a scene where their character's in the spotlight. It is recommended that that scene involve at least one other person here. It could be a PC or an NPC that one of us will play in the meantime. Um, and basically, it's going to focus on your character or progressing the day's shenanigans kind of thing. Um, and there are six beats. Uh, we don't have to hit all of them. And, you know, and we don't each have to take one. If you involve someone else, it can kind of, you know, we roll it all together. But there's opening, like beginning of the day at the mall, morning, lunchtime, evening, closing time, and after hours. Closing. Yeah, after exactly. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's that's how we're going to do it. I do want to ask you guys. Um, so once again, to go over D6, roll under. Um, if you roll under, good, you succeed. If you roll exactly your number, there's a complication. If you roll over, you fail. And if you roll a six, then um, it gets real bad. Now, you can roll a second D6 if your background makes sense. You can work that in, like what your character's about, what your teen's about. And you can get a third D6 if someone or multiple people help you. But the most you can ever roll on anything is three D6. And you take the lowest. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I was like... like Yep. Yep. Um, So yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. And then I guess we can just start uh, talking about our kids, our our teens. Um, And uh, I forgot to write down any of my ideas, so I'm just going to start trying to remember in the moment here what what I was talking about. No worries. Um, Yeah. So... um, I know I mentioned earlier, you know, get get some ideas. Do you guys want to talk about your characters uh, that you already have made? Or are you guys going to roll to kind of see what you get? Um, I think I've got ideas. All right. My idea. I've got a concept. I am Jill. Um, okay. What, first off, what is this set? Are we doing like, is this like early 2000s? Is this like when we were teens, most of us? <laughs> Or, I like that. Yeah, this, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah like boy, boy band. <laughs> is this <laughs> our era? Most of us. Wait, hold on. Sarah's is it like. Our... <laughs> Sarah's like. You mean twenty nineteen? When it was? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, it's pretty close, actually. You mean, you, like, it, no, no, no. I was, I was in my twenties by twenty nineteen. Um, Wait. There was like, are we going vintage? No, yeah, she's not that young. <laughs> Amber, when you say early two thousands, when we're in our teens, I'm like, you mean when I was in single digits? Yes. <laughs> oh no! Yeah. Oh no! It's boy band era. It's boy band pop. You know. Oh gosh! Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Pre mall flood. Pre yes. pre mall flood. You know, I, okay, should we describe what mall? Oh, oh no, we're not. Oh, that's, that's later. That's yeah. later. Speaking Someone of, take that away. Uh, Rainy, uh, Ray and stuff loves the Warwick Mall graphic. Where did you find it? So, I hope we don't get in trouble for this. Apparently that's from, like, a New York Times article. <laughs> from when the Warwick Mall flooded. So, yeah, I, we're I, gonna... <laughs> I did notice it. I was, like, I was looking at it. I was like, oh, cool. There's no water by the Warwick Mall. Oh, yeah. my God, those are sunken cars. Those are cars, yeah. Nice. All so, right. maybe this is a good opportunity. We always try and tie in our little state, our little home state here. Um, to talk about what mall we're basing this in, does anybody want to take it? Uh, take it away. Uh, there's something for everyone. <laughs> there is. There is something. something. I, <laughs> no one's think... gonna get that joke. <laughs> Rhode Islander. I'm sorry. Get if it. you're a Rhode Islander, I yeah. was hilarious right there. I guess if you're a Rhode Islander and still listen to the radio, like I don't even. Is that on TV? Yeah, I don't think we have enough boomers watching this to really appreciate that joke, Sarah. I yep. think. That's Someone needs to make a TikTok so that people know this. <laughs> Smitty, Toy Vault's still in the Warwick Mall, homie. Yeah, well, it's Smitty lives the in arcade. Oh, ah. okay. When there was a tilt, yeah. 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 So, tilt, that's what it was called. Tilt. Our, group, tilt. our group is Rhode Island-based, so we chose to base it off of the Warwick Mall, which <laughs> is a big mall that happens to be right next to the Rhode Island mall, right? Which is not a mall. Which is like a dead Which was a mall, but it died. Which was a mall, but it died. Uh, So we're doing this based off of the Warwick Mall back from when we used to go to the mall, so a lot of the stores may be there. Um, Yeah, in our Oh, that's right. We can have the Mouse House store. Yep, the Mouse House. The House of Mouse store. Yeah, yeah. It's it's got an interesting shape. You have the map up, right? So it's like a like a there's a crossroad that probably leads to hell in the center of the mall. <laughs> mm, yeah, just about. 
Uh, they're I below remember, the clock. I'm trying to remember. I remember when, like, I was, like, a teen when they started putting up those signs that, like, teens can't be at the mall alone and they can't, like, can't gather. Can't be a party of more than three. Yeah, they yeah, can't they gather. Can't. Oh, so, man. Because, mm-hmm. like... In our state, since there's not much to do, people used to just go hang out at the mall. Well, yeah. I guess that's a lot of states, to be fair. Kids just hang out at the mall, right? It was bef- pre-Providence Place Mall. Yeah, Warwick and then we got Mall banned. was the place to gather. And then, like, too yeah. many, like, fights and scuffles happened. It's also next to like, the movie theater. No more <laughs> the movie theaters, theater. right, in the parking lot. So people would go early and hang out at the mall and then catch a movie. Yeah, there was a certain time where, like, the food court was just, like, overrun with teens. Mm-hmm. Like, so many teens. And our mall floods a lot. That's hence the flooding picture. It used it, to flood a lot. I actually don't know if it does anymore. It was only the once, and that was no, because of 2011. Time? Yes, it was that one time. Oh, it, but it wasn't it, just a little flood. It was like... It was a huge, yeah, because they redid the mall. It was and like it wasn't even just the mall. It was water. like the yep. roads over there, too. Water is a kind way to call what flooded the mall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very kind. It was sewage. <gasps> I didn't know that. It yeah. was <laughs> It was a hurricane, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But our yes. super storm, Sandy. Our super teens will not hopefully have to deal with uh, poop Eight flood. feet of sewage. That's the Where do you think we, we got our to... powers? Uh, that's the disaster that strikes. Yeah. Well, we'll be safe. We got caught in the radioactive sewage flood. <laughs> well, I mean, that's is... where we got our powers, right? <laughs> I mean, this is in the same universe as Hiem. Anything's possible. This is true. Oh, this is true. <laughs> I did write that, that there is, is a pre- hem, hem, right? This like pre hem going. Yeah. Yeah. Apocalypse. yeah this is There's still a world. So. Yeah, the apocalypse <laughs> hasn't happened yet. Yep. All right. Okay. So I think I think we have our kids, right? Yes, so Amber, Amber you have your, your kids. Kid. Yep. Go ahead. I am Joe. I am uh, kind of a kind of an outsider uh, loner. I work at the I work at the shoe store at the mall. <laughs> um, but. Uh, I don't have a ton of friends. Doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, family's poor. I wear a Nirvana t-shirt, combat boots, you know, some jeans. Bit of a grunge kid. Um, but I'm really, really, really burnt out on a lot of things for a lot of reasons. Home life is super great. Um, dealing with a lot of shit that I probably shouldn't have to deal with. But, you know, can't ask for help for any of, the, any of that. But working at the fucking shoe store really started to grind on me and all of the fucks have flown <laughs> have flown the coop yeah. the, fu- the fucks have flown the coop so i'm just riding it out absolute minimum effort here now do we want to talk about so we are playing super powered teens and the goal is to hide our powers for as long as possible but do we want to like say what our powers are in case they do come up or or keep them close to the vest and then when we, and if we ever had to, we can be like, damn it, and use it. I'm good either way. So I want to probably share my power just because, like, I don't really know what to do with it yet, so. I also think Ooh. we should balance power level-ish. Nah. Okay. I mean, yeah. each other. No, literally just. <laughs> Ken's yeah. like, I have a goldfish that I can talk to. <laughs> my power is just summon no. a pebble. One of us <laughs> is going to. One gonna, single pebble. No. One of us is going to be that kid who's like, I have all the powers and your power is now my power. My and power is to copy powers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am Gary Stu. Yeah. <laughs> and keep them all and just stack them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, my power is I can decay things by touching them. No. Okay. All right, Shigaraki. Ooh. Wait, but like <laughs> by choice, though, right? Because that would be terrible to work at a shoe store. Usually, if I lose my cool, you know, sometimes mm. things happen. Gotcha. Yikes. Gotcha. I am still figuring most things out. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'll go next. Um, I'm playing a girl named Stacy. She's got light brown hair, and her hair is like super fluffy. And she's got it up in a ponytail. She works at a Dell's Lemonade. There's like a Dell's Lemonade truck right in the middle of the mall. More Rhode Island references. Let's go. The truck, truck is just, just in the mall. I could see uh, doing that, though. I could, right? I could see it, too. Like the area where sure. they're always giving away. Where, like, the, the piano is. Yeah. Where, yeah. And, yeah. like, the little stage. I'm sure they've yeah. had cars in the middle of the yes. mall before. Yeah. 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 It's a Dell's Lemonade yep. now. That's where I am. Lemonade truck. Um, she's got like super bright fingernail polish. Uh, she's just like bored with everything, like all of the time. She's just like bored with life, and that's my character, Stacy. Uh, my superpower is just uh, like X-ray heat vision. Ooh, 
Okay. Okay. Yeah, so in the game itself, uh, it does have a few things. It's, you know, when you make your character, come up with their name, their pronouns, their look, like what they look like, their style. Um, then it's where do you work in the mall? Who are you? And that's kind of like the teen trope thing, right? Like you'd be like preppy or a jock or the popular kid or stoner or a nerd, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or a theater kid. Scene, I love that scene kid is on here. Oh yeah, man! What is a scene kid? What is that? Is that theater? Bitch, my me, back the day, oh. me back in the day. Me back in the day. MySpace emo kids. Let's go. Yeah, like uh, big hair, massive scene side kids. bangs, bra yeah. candy bracelets up and down the arms. Hello Kitty with black eyeliner. Avril Bright Lane. colored band T-shirts. I yeah. for some OMG reason so know random. so well what this is. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it was very Jesus. big when we were seniors. Like that's all like the and young, when I was the younger in kids. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was, was in all those bands, band. man. Yeah. I, was, you know, I wanted band. to be a scene gotcha. kid, except I was sent to Catholic school instead, so I couldn't. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Um, all right. Gotcha. All right. So probably popular girl bored with life wears like a Dell's. I don't think actually they have uniforms, but I'm going to give them Dell apron uniforms because I want a apron uniform. Heck yeah. Yeah. You're wearing a lemon costume. <laughs> no, I'm not wearing a lemon costume. No, it's like uh, the blue and it's, it's the like green a, and white yeah, stripes. It's, like, it's the green and yellow stripes. The, the green yeah. and yellow stripes. Oh, I yeah. that. I now I like want to go plain, get my dad. I was thinking like a rocks apron, just like a plain apron with like a lemon on it. But oh, I love. Oh. I like the stripe. It's very uh, candy striper. Yeah, all of our viewers. Ice cream. All of our viewers, if you ever come to Rhode Island, you got to get three things food wise. Well, uh, see, it's tough. There's a I was lot. Gonna, I was going to say Dell's lemonade, coffee milk. Oh. Hot wiener? Yeah, New York I system. Actually, I would say it's New York system. system. Yep. Or would you say party pizza? Oh, party pizza. I, I'm, oh, New York but I think I am eating a New York system pizza tonight. Combine them. There you go. Yep. Boom. That's the most Rhode Island thing, though, right? Like, we don't even call it Rhode Island system. We're just like, yeah, we're somewhere <laughs> between New York system, and yeah. Boston. So, like, everything's one of those. Everyone system. thinks we're part of New York anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're like, oh, Long Island. Now. <laughs> Somebody goes, New York system wieners? Yes. Please explain these local delicacies. Okay. I'm going to type <laughs> in Twitch chat while you introduce your character. Okay. Okay. Yes. So. They're great and bad. Don't. Uh, <laughs> also, Lynn, thank you for 11 months of Prime. We love you. Uh, I believe Lynn Ferno, uh, our first subscriber ever, I think. M that Might makes be. sense. <laughs> I want to say yes, but right. that makes sense. Um, so I'm playing Rat. Uh, <laughs> Rat. They're, they're, like, she, they, uh, they're a little weirdo, um, bangs that cover down to their nose. Oh, yeah. Straight hair. Um, it's, like, somewhere between brown and black because it looks like they dyed it black, but then it's, their natural color is brown, so it just looks like shit. Um, they are, uh a drummer in a band with a bunch of their teen friends uh and they always carry their drumsticks everywhere in their back pocket uh and refuse to let go of them even at school and work uh and they work at the warwick mall staple the carousel <laughs> yes. yes um and they just like they they end up getting away with a little bit of stuff because they manage to entertain the kids. They, like, bang out little tunes on the side while kids are, like, waiting. Da, 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 da. Yeah, you're just doing paradiddles and, like, weird polyrhythms, and kids yeah, are like, what is happening? And, and kids are just like, what the fuck is this? Uh, uh, so, if you're a Warwick Mall person, um, Carousel's perfect. And uh, the best uh, one is the dragon, and you can fight me on this. No one would fight you on that, I think. No, it's correct. The best one is the dragon. That's the end. Jess would fight for the uh, unicorn. I was going to say, gonna unicorn's say, a close second. The rabbit was my favorite. Cool the rabbit, cool. the rabbit the that's the one cool. I remember, yeah. Well, I just like are... being lazy and being uh, sitting on the bench. <laughs> like the, the bench, bench is too. Real MVP. Uh, <laughs> but it's comfortable. Uh, rats' power is limited object animation, so like they can make objects come to life and do shit, but only like one or two at a time. <laughs> Perfect for the carousel. I'm not gonna lie. So I wrote down a few just like in my little thing here in case we got lost. Like, oh, what would be happening? And like, what kind of villains might be there that would make us have to go? Damn it, we gotta use our powers. I now have to delete animator puppeteer because ah. you know because you just took it there yep wow these yeah. super 
Wow, so far the other two superpowers are so cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, what like, are you talking about? You have you have vision. You have you have see through vision. God, no You're basically stuff. the predator. <laughs> yep. All right, we're gonna have to clip that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I will gonna start shiving some sons of bitches. I'm out of his too super cute, fluffy girl, <laughs> and you just akin her to this horrifying monster hunter thing. You don't manually remove at least one person's spine. I'm gonna be very disappointed in this now. Can't do that Arnold Schwarzenegger's just walking around the mall now, <laughs> full camo, hiding know. in the hiding in the topiary. You know, uh... Kent, tell us about your boy. Yeah. All right, Ken. Continue. So, I am uh, going to be playing Levi. He is uh, just like the general kind of slacker, like pre, uh, it was like pre hipster is his general uh, thing. Like before it became hipster, mm. uh, just like clothing. That's basically what he wears. Just the t-shirt with the flannel over it. Get the white belt. <laughs> uh, long, uh, long, like shaggy hair, I guess. Um, I, he is working, he is working at the, uh, he's working at the arcade, which is located right next to the carousel and the food court. Uh, general looks, uh, or like looks, uh, <laughs> <laughs> demeanor. Yeah. He's just living that slacker life. Just. <laughs> He got a job at the uh, got a job at the tilt because he likes to uh, be in there anyway. Uh, all the games he can play. Uh, <clears throat> the little candies for the prizes are also a nice little thing to sneak too. But Did uh, they give like candy for prizes? Yeah, employee discount. <laughs> employee <laughs> discount. <laughs> Twizzlers. Oh, that's yeah, right. that's, that's awesome. Usually remember. They do say, they do say too, like, obviously we're all going to know one another, even if we're not like friends at school or whatever, like we probably all hang or at least interact at the mall regularly. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. Hence why we, we, all, all, we all take our breaks at the same time. Yeah. Like we lunch just, together and yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The yam way. Of yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I wish I wrote that I worked at yam, but no, well, I don't you're think here. Uh... you're here. <laughs> <laughs> you're I'll never let you um, go. Uh, let's okay. see Levi's power. Okay. So, oh, yeah. I was thinking his power is uh, actually very apt for working at the tilt, and that is he is kind of like a technomancer. He can talk to electronics. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Very cool. Which Wait, also kind of hides his... Uh, work. <laughs> exactly. He's just like, I don't know how to work this, but I can tell the machine to just keep working. Wow. And I don't have to deal with it anymore. Uh -huh. He holds up Adele's cup threateningly. <laughs> work <around. laughs> dude you'd be you the culotta machine at dunks would never fail on you yep. oh my god you can get the culotta machine up <laughs> well, the frosty yes, machines and... at mcdonald's and the mcflurries uh, the frio machines at cumberland farms <laughs> all I mean, the machines that are broken Let's be honest. All never beverage, actually broken. all milkshake beverage related machines. They just actually. don't want to make a McFlurry. No, they uh, just don't want to clean the machine. That's fair too. Yeah. So it's just going to be a gross culotta. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. Oh, that means I didn't go, I huh? Yeah, time. it's you, bud. Um. Okay. Uh, um. So I made a. I tried to go off type again. Um. <laughs> tried. Um, oh, I didn't change my name. I'll change it on Zoom in a second. My character, I'm going to go down the thing. Uh, I'm playing Aiden. He, him. Look, he is a tall, athletic, fit, blonde hair, blue eyed, God. just absolute, the, like, the worst. You see this kid and you go, that kid definitely sucks. Like, that he's kid. He's a Chad. He's that definitely. Kid sucks. Dude, he's gotcha. preppy. He's spoiled, rotten. Does your dad and, have a boat? And he's, he's probably. Probably. Yeah. yeah. And uh and he's like a star pitcher on the baseball team. Like he's just the worst. Wow, I'm gonna love you. Yeah, oh well, god. Here's what's funny. So my style yeah, obviously yeah. preppy, right? Like I'm wearing my like letterman jacket and just like, you know, skinny fit khakis. Um yeah. 
Um, I wish I worked at what I called balls, <laughs> which is Boner's Athletic Leisure and Lifestyle Superstore. It is the analog to Dick's Sporting Goods. <laughs> um, God damn it. But I, wow, but I, do... I did not get that. I saw <laughs> that you. on the list. Thank Balls. you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, it works on so many levels because sports yeah. use balls and it's balls yes. and dicks and yes. you know, yeah. So I worked really hard on this dick joke. It was great. Um, <laughs> thank it's, you. it's better than sports dicking goods. <laughs> uh, um, I did not get hired at balls, unfortunately. So I work at the Antenna Hut, which is the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> the Antenna Hut. Oh, it's so good. Uh, um, there, there was oh, a wow, very, great. There's a very long list in our group chat of slightly off kilter store names. <laughs> my bad. My uh, no, they were no, wonderful. Was fantastic. And I thank loved you. It. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and then lastly, so um, I'm a jock prep. And then there is a table in the character creation thing that says, like, what do you want to do? Like, what do you want? Like, you know, you're working here at the mall. We've all talked about our characters and stuff. I just rolled randomly and I got asked someone out. And I feel like it's only appropriate that it's Stacy. Like, it for Aiden, no. it's 100%. Stacy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, you said us all. Oh, no. Uh, oh, my God. That would be horrible. Uh, that's, that's even better. Like, we're working, right? I... And it comes to, like, Stacy's about to get picked up by her mom. And I've been, like, trying to flirt with Stacy all day. Hey, but then I just. Mom. And then hey, hey, Miss. Hey, hey, Miss Stacy. <laughs> mom is, like, not having any of it. She's like, yeah. these fucking kids. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> if I. Little shit. <laughs> if if I could have picked a uh, summer job pool boy for Aiden, I would have. I would. Oh no! Uh, and your power? Oh yes, uh, my superpower. Um, I think I want him like he's so athletic and he's so physical and like so like everything you'd expect him to be like be like superpower, super speed, super all this stuff. I think I want him to have like a really dumb power, which is like and not dumb because it's one that I'd love, but not one that Aiden would love. And I think he can talk to animals. Yeah. Or animals. But he like, doesn't like animals at <laughs> yeah, all. He's like, no way, dumb cat. <laughs> yeah, where most people would be like, this is awesome. He's mostly just like, oh, there's another sparrow in the mall, and I could just hear it saying stupid shit in the rafters, and he hates it. Like, that was what I considered for rat, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that would be pretty. I could see that doing. Um, I could see you doing that, Sarah. That's such a Sarah. It is. He's like, it's not just a sparrow, it's a lame sparrow. Oh, uh, I already, <laughs> dude, I already have a great scene for Aiden right now based on Antenna Hut and animal talking. So, okay. Oh my God. Uh, I'll be right okay. back. Okay. Um, let me just write this scene down. Okay. Wow. I'm making the worst character. Um, okay. So, um, yeah, I think that at this point we can start making the scenario if we want. Um, but also, I kind of wanted to ask you guys, um, they do, and this is an expansion of Mall Kids, and one thing that's really cool about how uh, Matt designed this game, Matthew designed this game, is that it's, like, really rules light and flexible, and he's, like, I've listened to a stream where he was playing this with people, and he said, like, there's no balance, it's, it's narrative, it is a very narrative game, like, it's mostly just about having fun, telling a fun story, so, like, disregard stuff, but one thing I like is that he very much says you can change the stats like we have corporate and we have cred but we're super powered teens so i wanted to just ask you guys if you were interested in maybe changing corporate and cred to be something like hero and villain or like responsible radical <laughs> or like powerful personal you know what i mean like i came up with like these opposites that i thought might be more appropriate for a super teen game um but corporate and cred obviously still work just as well. But uh, I didn't know if if one of those was more interesting to you guys. Obviously, hero villain is like very straightforward and funny. Like, do you use your powers for good or evil kind of thing? But... I'm down for hero villain. Uh, corporate and cred also work. They're kind of, honestly, they're kind of the same thing. I kind but of but like in a more, but with more like um, like criticism over like socioeconomic status <laughs> with sure. and cred. it's all about how you frame them right yeah yeah so. yeah i kind of like hero and villain too yeah but hero and villain also works just fine they're very straightforward do you want to try that instead of corporate and uh and cred okay let's go yeah. for it I like it. yeah i yeah. mean we're playing a super game so i mean all that means is 
uh, everything works the same, right? Like we're going to be using our powers and, or, you know, we're going to be doing what we're doing action wise. But um, if we need to use our powers or if we use them in a particularly selfish way, someone call us out and say, okay, you got to move to villain, you know, move uh, along to villain. Now, spit in oh, someone's Dell's lemonade. <laughs> yeah. Or, or make Christian proud and one of us pees in something. Oh, no, yeah. No. That does not need to. Um, no. Fall back to him and, uh, yeah, and his character. His falafels. <laughs> yes. Psst, psst, psst. There's a um, reason. That should just there's be a like... reason the coffee colada machine is broken. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that should just be one of the food court like stalls, just piss falafels. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It was just bad branding. It's just like it's like one of those like yes falafels. <laughs> I was gonna say it's one of those like trending shops, right? That just like like the cronut, right? That just comes in for like a year or two. Okay, the orange so leaf <laughs> yep. like, popped out. in and just woof. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, I get. I mean, it's pretty straightforward now. Like if you use your powers to help somebody, even if it's not you know, because you're not trying to. You're you're trying to hide your powers. So if we use them for good, shift to hero. If you use them to fuck with somebody or slack off move it to villain you know very straightforward um yeah, yeah so yeah and then basically we just have to come up like if we reach full hero um i think maybe we say that instead of uh there's you go full corporate it's like uh there's like a hero scout there and he goes kid what are you wasting your time with at x store come with me and then if you go full villain obviously you're just like Fuck this shit. <laughs> fuck, yeah, you're like, fuck this shit. You feel you, you, you empty you the feel cash drawer and you leave. <laughs> yeah, you, you let you let the feeling of power overcome you Guys, and you and you bounce. Sunday Beat has it. It's Priscilla's falafels, but everyone calls it piss falafels. <laughs> Thank you, Sunday Beat. I'm gonna be Pris so falafel. fucking proud. That's perfect. Priss falafel. Uh, I'm just gonna okay. send him a picture of Sunday Beat's chat without any context. No context whatsoever. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, at this point, um, if we want, we can, um, roll to see what's going on, um, and then kind of let that frame, uh, where we go from here. Yeah, roll an opening scene, let's do it. All right, what's I'm going gonna, on? I'm gonna roll two things, I'm actually gonna roll it twice and see which, which one I like better, because there's the base scenario builder which has uh you roll a d6 on a table and it's a thing um but then i also think the mall at the end of the world expansion has an interesting one it's not particularly super powered but it, it kind of feeds into a more powerful world kind of thing so we'll just i'll roll the two dice but then we'll combine them and i'll we can all pick which one's the most interesting all right so i rolled two fours so that makes it easy um it's either Black Friday. Oh, that's a good start. Wow. And <laughs> and who and who's messing stuff up? A mall cop. This is that's I don't know why we do anything other than that. But just to check, what's the expansion say? Um <laughs> you have something desirable, and who's messing stuff up? Zombies. I think that desirable thing is our brains, maybe, but um <laughs> I don't know if we want to play a uh, zombie. We don't usually do zombies on this stream, so we, yeah, we do not just do uh the oh, zo just the zombies. Zombies. The only yeah. zombies. Just the X card the zombies. The only zombie allowed on stream is Bui. Oh, Bui. yeah, she was so sweet. Oh, but Bui was never on stream, sadly. No, well, there was a pre Bui. Bui. That was. So Bui yes. was not on stream, but Bui, who is Bui before she became a zombie, was on stream. Pre Bui. Bui Bui. Pre Bui. <laughs> oh, I loved Bui. Um, all right, I think Black Friday, and, Black Friday. and Mall Cops being an issue is. is that plays right into so us, I think. We get a Paul Blart analog, right? Ball part. We get yes, it's uh, Aww, yeah. With the little balls. Ball Blart is that easy? Ball Blart. <laughs> that fucker's a menace to society. <laughs> Maybe I don't remember the movie uh, very well. <laughs> we did. We did set this a little too early for segues, which is a damn shame. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, I, did we said yeah, yeah, we said this is set in the early two thousands. Yes. Mid, mid, early to mid, mid, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe he can have, Five, he can have a... He has a prototype segue, the same one that killed its master. <laughs> um, okay. Oh my god, so, I, I need to The segue is skates. on a rampage, it must be stopped. be on, like, roller skates or Thank roller you, Smitty, by the way. Or something. 
Oh yes. my god, that's a very you early 2000s yeah. rollerblades. Yeah, yeah. You can just be on rollerblades. Okay. Rollerblades. I I double checked something because I forgot there was something very important I wanted about Rat, and it's it is accurate to the time. Uh, Rat wears heelys. I was just oh gonna say god. one of those wheelie shoes. When Rat did those heelys. come out? Perfect. <sighs> they were invented wow. in 1999. Nuggeting yep. is in full swing. <laughs> no, not then. Nuggeting is in full swing. Oh, like, yes, it is. Nuggeting. No. I don't know. Nuggeting was big, our school. Nuggeting hit school. the West War. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's a craze a where prank. students were just em- waiting until somebody was not paying attention. They take their backpack, empty their backpack out, turn their backpack inside out, and then zip it together. Put everything back <laughs> in and then zip it up. Yeah, and so like That's your straps rude. are gone, so like the bell rings, and, and you, have, you to, like, have to like carry it in your backpack. Oh my god! <laughs> the the cruelest of uh, nuggeters zip would also zip tie the, uh, the oh, uh, yeah. zipper shut on the inside. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. The, and you'd like kind of do it during class, so you, like you know you'd see how many you could get. I think yeah. it was like six or seven. I think. That's Nuggeting. rude. Yeah, Just that's it. rude. Just, Us Catholic school kids don't know anything about that, huh, Sarah? Unstoppable so. nugget. We weren't allowed to carry our bags around between classes. What? Mm. How did you carry things? In our arms, like heathens. <laughs> like I did, because I didn't want a backpack anyway. Did you have <laughs> lots of time between... I feel like I couldn't make it to my classes, so I had to carry, like... I had short legs. Yep. I don't know. I had to run everywhere. <laughs> I was going to say, also, for Jess's height, that's only, like, three books, so... <laughs> Uh, I just had really good locker placement when I went to Catholic school. Uh, I got that's really that good That makes a difference, too. Right next to mm-hmm. Prime locker real estate. Mm-hmm. That makes a difference, too. Well, anyway. Anyway. Yes, sorry. Let's get started I on our day Friday. here at the mall. It is Black Friday. Oh, that's bad. That's going to be real, real unfortunate here. Fuck. Um, Guess who so has wait. to watch all of the kids? <laughs> oh, Yeah. Yeah, you're going to have a real hard time here. You and me, buddy. Yep. Um, Why, it's right next to each other. Yeah. Um, So, the way that this works is uh, we're going to break it up into a series of beats, and basically we're going to talk about opening. Like, basically us showing up at the mall, either together or in small groups. Before the doors are open, they're already the throngs. Yes. Just fucking insane hungry shoppers. Back then when people used to camp out, I used to like... There's tents and tent. out there. Oh, yeah. And, like, second or third in line. He left, like, somebody's there brought a hot plate. They're yes. in the parking lot. Oh, that's really good. All place. right. So, in the opening scene, it says here, uh, define a group goal, talk about what's happening, or make promises. So, who wants to take the first scene? If this opens up, think, like, you know, oh, man, there's a lot of, like, uh, teen movies from, like, the early 2000s, too, that we could pull on a lot of, like, ridiculous tropes here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the late 90s, early 2000s. But, uh... I might have to be a little educated. <laughs> oh, yeah, First Sarah has there. no idea what we're talking okay. about. It's, it's not just my age, it's I don't watch movies. Fair. Yeah, that's that too. Fair. Um, all right, so I think that, um... I mean, I'll take the first scene if you guys want. Party. Um, yeah, so... All right, um... I think that Aiden pulls up in a car that his parents bought him and is way too nice for a teenager... And he, just, Damn you. Uh, he parks and he's sitting in his uh, in his car and he looks out at the line of people just lined up for Black Friday. And he just thinks to himself, he's just like, oh, today's going to suck and walks in, uh, you know, for those of us familiar with the work mall, there's like the, the back entrance, kind of like the a loading entrance. dock. Yeah. yeah employee yeah. entrance. And there's a couple people out there, you know, smoking cigarettes or whatever they got to do, starting their day, drinking their coffees, re- like reluctant Jane, to go is in. It, is it like midnight right now? Like the malls, it's Black Friday. It's night, right? Oh, yeah. do we want to do that? We could totally yeah. shift all of the beats and say that like oh, mall o- opens at midnight on Black Friday. Yeah. So we're all actually showing up for like a midnight crazy Black Friday opening. Does it do midnight though? Didn't it used to open at like three or four in the morning? Like yeah, it's like I mean either way. Yeah, yeah, it's like so the like, ass crack of dawn. Like a, a, a very late or it's very dark. early. Yeah, so like yeah. maybe like, the mall opens at three a.m., but we all have to get yeah. there at two a.m. Yeah. Mm, and we see people starting to line up. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, so I think walk in and there's those like, there's always like those concrete back hallways behind all the stores, right? Like the loading stuff. Just kind of walking in there and. Uh, I think he gets to <laughs> he gets halfway down the 
one of these concrete hallways and he just hears like chittering of some animal that's just always in these back things and he's like shut up gerald <laughs> and there's no gerald <laughs> like employee wise anywhere no, just yells and, and he just hears somewhere from the rafters go fuck yourself <laughs> yeah Animals. Yes, you are the animals, Sarah. I am the, um, anim- I am the voice of the animals. <laughs> well, Jeff has so, big squirrel energy. <laughs> <laughs> so we've talked about this. Um, i got to get your names down. Rat and Levi, you guys work next to one another. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe Jill, if it's cool with you, maybe the shoe store is next to the Radio Shack kind of thing. Sure. Um, I, was, I was thinking it's where the... It's where the shoe store is in the mall. So it's like, um, it's on the main drag, but it's like right in front of where the food court starts, you know? So I can like see the food so court we're all and the relatively carousel from close. across the main drag in the hall. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't, I think the Radio Shack was like down at the other end. Um, it up, it was, yeah. up next to them. Yeah, just, can all be near it, each other. just fuck Old Navy. Get Old Navy out of there. Wait, I call it old, there. old I Armada. Old Armada. That was my favorite <laughs> one. Old Armada. <laughs> old Armada. It's where Waldo books should be. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Waldo books. Yeah. That's perfect. Geriatric yeah. Armada. <laughs> um, okay. So in that case, yeah, I think that uh, maybe I see Jill and we're both kind of... Uh, yeah. Walk, walking in, trudging in. Just rubbing Just his eyes. Fucking. Ready for a big day? Walkmans are a thing, right? I've got one of those. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got my earbuds in. It's fucking grunge. Yeah, grunge yep. girl. It's got Nirvana that... playing. Yep. Um, <laughs> Aiden and Jill probably have heated what's good music discussions uh, on breaks, and Aiden has terrible taste in music. Isn't that he's like, fashion? he's like, Soundgarden is good. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry, any Soundgarden fans in the audience, <laughs> or like, he's into boy bands. Um, but he won't tell anybody that. Yeah. <laughs> um, goes to anyway. all the Backstreet Boys concerts. Um, but yeah, basically, he like looks at Jill. He's like, "Take your headphones off." And she gives him like a, she takes the headphone off like with a, like a fucking what <laughs> expression. <laughs> and he's just like, uh, "What?" He he's he's such an idiot. He's just like, "How does lunch break work uh, when we show up at three in the morning?" Do we we probably bread? just don't get one. <laughs> he's just like, Ugh. well, he's like, keep an eye out for when, uh, and he says like, keep an eye out for like Stacy and, uh, and Rat and Levi, like, you know, should all coordinate today. Yeah. Try not to get trampled. <laughs> yeah. And he, he just kind of like, he's this big kid and he's just like, yeah, I'm not so worried about that. And he just goes like, uh, try not to, you know, deal with too many stinky feet. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 fucking Aiden <laughs> she puts yeah. her earbud back in she's like she's already pissed it's 3 o'clock in the morning she's yeah. pissed that she's up at 3 o'clock in the morning she's got fucking homework and shit to do like fuck this shit <laughs> what uh alright yeah and then I think that basically he just goes in and he just starts uh doing his, his pre <laughs> pre checklist but he kind of slacks on it and is more interested in just uh he's making sure that like RC cars are um Aww. are uh totally loaded up and he's just like, all right, this is what I'm gonna do all day. <laughs> he's like, I'm just chasing kids. <laughs> um Jill is gonna open up the fucking gate on the pay more shoe store. <laughs> 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 Go inside and uh the first one there, the other employees are not here yet, so she opens up. The first thing she does is go over to a couple sale items, pull them off the shelf, stash them under the fucking counter. <laughs> the uh, For the record, I'm going to try my best here, but the only retail job I've ever worked at was a bird food and bird feeder store, so my experience is very limited. <laughs> and yes, that exists, by the way. Wild Birds Unlimited. <laughs> yeah, and it's, like, expensive. People drop, like, Hundreds of dollars on bird seed. It's nuts. Birds. Burbs. Yep, she's got a Burbs. set of boots she pulls, um, two pairs of child's shoes, hides them under the desk. <laughs> uh, go ahead. 
Okay, I wasn't sure if I could off Amber, sorry. I was just gonna say, Stacy definitely gets there late. Her mom definitely is the one to, like, drop her off and is, like, kind of trying to rush her, but Stacy's like, dragging her feet. And she, like, gets to the truck by herself. She's got, like, a coffee <laughs> in her hands, like, an iced coffee. Um, her mom is the one who actually hands her, like, the keys to, like, open the truck and is, like, talking to her. And she, like, holds out her hand reluctantly, takes the keys, and, like, urges her mom to go, uh... And I guess she'll start just opening up the truck very slowly and start setting up for lemonade. Oh, yeah. I, I really just like as as a hilarious contrast to Stacy, as like Stacy goes in, starts getting everything ready. The next thing you see is Rat healing past the truck with a full yeah. ass hot dog in her hand. Uh, <laughs> like a 7 Eleven like, big gulp. You got like no, a big gulp. No. So here's my really tell you. Mm -hmm. She like healies in and then like looks back to Stacy and just. Did you see the dude with the hot dog grill out in front? What? Someone set a full <laughs> ass grill out front. Rat, you got that from some don't take food from strangers, rat. Yeah, I it was it was only a dollar. You paid money for that? It's a good hot there's relish on this thing, Stace. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, let's go. <laughs> and then they just pick up the real and zoom down. Don't, just don't complain to me when you get food poisoning. Oh, oh my god. Nothing can poison me. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, I die. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a teenager mentality, though. It's just like, this isn't even going to phase me. <laughs> Wait. It's Black Friday at the mall. I'm already dead. <laughs> Who even is going to buy lemonade at this time of year? Oh. At 3 o'clock in the morning. It's, what does no, a Black, Black Friday, Friday lemonade sale look like? Uh, like a black, special black cherry flavored lemonade. <laughs> it's a limited lemonade. edition. Yeah, flavor. limited edition flavor. Like Black yeah. cherry for low lemonade. You have like a, you have like a peppermint Dells for oh. the beginning of the holiday season. I'm gonna have to like pour out like, like little cups of free pumpkin samples. spice. Ooh. They had the fucking pumpkin dough. That pumpkin was a thing. They did. No, nope. no, that can't be true. They, no, no, I they got did. it. I got it. Was Brady. it good? I tried it. Was it good? It wasn't as bad as you would think it would be. Okay. Okay. You know, it like it wasn't bad. It just I, I, it shouldn't be a devil's if Perfect. it wasn't bad. I'm gonna just start <laughs> setting up free samples. It's kind of early. The lemonade <laughs> the will melt. Yeah. It's just too early. I'm just going to be, you know what? I'm just literally only going to open the truck and then sit there and just sip on my iced coffee for like an hour. Are you chewing bubblegum too? Yeah, you're right. Like bubbles and just popping and snapping it. <laughs> yeah. Simultaneously drinking my iced coffee and blowing up. Oh. <laughs> drinking coffee and chewing gum. Oh, God. I'm not going to lie. I, I know, have done it. Oh. Right? I have seen it before. Oh, gross. Yeah, that's Stacy. All right, that's Levi. Uh, so <clears throat> Levi is going to be coming in. He's got a, he's uh carrying a backpack that he's got just like a bunch of snacks in right now. And he's carrying a half a case of Monster. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, yeah. He's basically coming from a... Uh, Lost. All Land party. Lost. He's, he's coming from a, a video lost. game. He's coming from uh, playing video games all night to just going to play video games all night. <laughs> Fires up a console. <laughs> Do you remember land parties? Land parties. <laughs> I think I've only ever actually done one land party. Yeah, I didn't get. I didn't do a whole lot, but uh, of all people, uh, my wife used to do it with Halo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they used to have crazy land parties. Um, I just I kind of want to interject real quick and say that I want to introduce the mall cop because I think that oh, he would yeah. definitely be making the rounds, right? Like to oh, all yeah. the looking stores. Looking at these little shit kids. That he's yeah, like, looking at these shit teenagers, and he just kind of like walks over to everyone, and he's just like, "Black Friday, it's gonna be busy. I want your heads on a swivel. You guys need to be looking out. Shoplifters galore on a day like this. You know how much product we lose. You know how much money just walks out these stores. And he's like, I'm watching you guys." If anyone pushes an arcade out the uh, out the doors, I'll probably see it. Some kid just like pushing a pinball machine, just like. <laughs> if he if he says this to Rat, she just like 
Sir, I sell 50 cent or carousel tickets. Carousel rides! Yeah, I think, yeah, I think when he gets down to you two, he just more looks, and he's just like, this is Chaos Corner. And he goes like, I'm not afraid to put down a kid. <laughs> This mall cop. I wish. Uh, can I just play the mall cop, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yes. yeah, yeah, this he, dude. He says, I'm not afraid to put down a kid. Rad just really quietly goes, I don't know. I think you should be. Yeah, this dude Have is you like, seen yeah. a parent? I'm uh, afraid to put down a kid because you can't put down an adult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so that that's our that's our trouble uh, until more trouble arises. Um. But I think yeah. that maybe we should all have like one quick meetup in the food court before uh, before our shifts start. Yeah, stash my shit, and then we head over to do a little circle of the food court. Do yeah. you guys want to try the newest flavor of Dell? Yes, yeah, Stacy brings what over is, a bunch yeah, of like what, experimental what Dells. Yeah, we Hold up, time out. I remember high school in the early two thousands. Uh, does Stacy bring like a bottle of her mom's vodka and just bring us like spiked Dells at oh our shift? Oh my shifts? god, I love it! You, you know now, I mean? yes, now she is. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, kicking off, kicking off the morning, right? And Aiden, this usually totally cocky kid, just kind of like sees Stacy coming over with like a <laughs> spiked Dells, and he's just like, "Hey, St- hey, Stacy, what's up?" He's stretching, just fucking stretching. <laughs> like yeah. something's gonna oh. total man spread, like just kind of like it was like some like pre-game stretches, just like <laughs> so what's up? What's going on? It's Black Friday. It's morning. It's yeah. fucking early. It's tired. Totally. Yeah. It or is, late, yeah. depending on uh depending how long you've been up. <laughs> Point. Time doesn't exist between 11 p.m. and 6 a.m. Fact. You're gonna be like, time doesn't exist at all. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) Time doesn't (laughs) exist. Time's real. You see Aiden's eyes just kind of glaze over. He's like, whoa. (laughs) Just like, (laughs) God, this is gonna be hell. Yeah. Uh, Aiden. What's up? You know those uh, those Nokia phones that are on sale? Should you put one in the back for me? Yeah, man, those things are like indestructible, dude. You should see, shift. you should see the shit that we've done to one of those things, dude. They just do not break. Good, sure, dude. Need it to last. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, you got it. I'll get you. I'll hook you up. Thanks, man. And then he's like, uh, I'm gonna need some new cleats soon too. So, like, you know. All right, I'll grab a pair. Hell yeah. So, um, uh, what is this drink? <laughs> it's. Like peppermint vodka and peppermint lemonade and ex- some extra peppermint candy. That's why it hurts so much. It smells like mouthwash. <laughs> yeah. I think it just is mouthwash. Yeah. Uh, you guys gonna I'm, just swish with it? I'm all set. <laughs> no rat fucking drinks it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I'm gonna add just some the other one. Hell yeah, man. Brad's drinking and driving on the fucking rabbit. Just like, yeah. Carousel. <laughs> There's like this huge line of kids and she's like, that one's mine. Don't even think about it. <laughs> I called dibs. Oh my God. Can we like all ride the carousel before oh. it opens? That would be great. That would yes. be a great place to meet. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's powwow on the carousel. All right. Yeah. And it's like they, they call you on it. My dad calls it quality control. It's just checking the systems. Yeah, you like this is just morning checks. Got to make sure it can hold weight. <laughs> and all of us inside. All of us drinking spiked <laughs> frozen lemonade. Just a bunch of teenagers on a carousel. Like <laughs> starting out the day. Rat like so everyone gets on and Rat starts it going and then she does a little run and jump onto the platform <laughs> and just like climbs up onto onto the one and just like snuggles the animal. <laughs> All right, that's a great opening. That's a great opening scene, honestly. Like that's a great way to end this, right? We get the quick sh- show up vignettes and then starting the day. <laughs> and then what happens is the camera, the camera pans, like it kind of starts following us. You know, like you can yeah. you get a camera on one of those things and it follows them. 
Yeah. And then what happens is it kind of just turns and then it looks at the doors, those huge, that huge entrance to the food court and the work mall. Done, and like, it's, yeah, it's like a zombie movie. I was, that's what I'm imagining. We're just sitting on the... <laughs> Bunch of teenagers. Look at <laughs> Free, Pre-gaming their black <laughs> British. <laughs> Fucking cockroaches. <laughs> it's literally like the apocalypse. It's, totally yeah. it's terrible. Um. All right. That's an awesome this scene. This is strange red light coming from the Heim. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, rat, like, perfect. points out one dude is like, that's my homie with the hot dogs. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> you just see this dude. He's, like, made more money at this Black Friday event just slinging hot dogs. Um, this guy knows what the fuck's up. <laughs> I should do that yeah, next do year. <laughs> uh, I will make more money than those. <clears throat> All right, so we shift to the next beat, which is getting to work, uh, uh, learning learning something new, or creating a plan. Um, I have a yeah. question. Do we all sure. know everyone has powers, or do we think we're the only freak? Um, yeah, let's establish that real quick. I imagine this is a world with... Uh, we can't be the only five people in the world with powers, right? The coincidence of it we alone. Could we could be. <laughs> the sheer coincidence. Or yeah. Or maybe it's like one of those things where you know what we could say is that um at the moment it's mostly conspiracy theories. Things show up on the news, but there's always some explanation. Like mutants aren't really like out in the public Ooh, eye yet. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um yeah. hence why we're hiding our powers, right? Like one, to avoid more work, but also who knows what kind of social backlash we would receive for these things. Maybe there's another classmate or something that uh, another kid who like worked at the mall who had a power or something and we all knew about it, but we didn't share our own powers and they disappeared. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, this is good. Now yeah. we're getting some mall. And that's why we all here. started talking and hang out together because like this other kid who worked at the pretzel stand disappeared. Yeah. Oh, oh, could he could he been a Waldo books kid? Yeah, Aww. yeah. The bookstore kid. Oh man. Aww, the book and store. and he was like he was like a mega brain. It was like like you know what i mean that's why i worked at a bookstore he was just like he was a human computer just like yeah, just had perfect recall like yeah yeah um all right cool so all right that's terrifying and now we yeah. have another reason so now we're out. like shit and we don't know that everybody else knew we just knew that we were all kind of friendly with this kid so we're all like at the same time just try like we start hanging out with each other trying to low-key gather information about how much each other knew about this kid without letting anyone else know that we knew about this kid. And now we're in this awkward, like, hanging out at the breakfast table sort of thing, talking about Kyle. Wait. And we're all, yeah, oh, Kyle. No. <laughs> I'm going to write, I'm going to write Kyle is missing. Kyle is missing. Rip Kyle. Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe it isn't that he's disappeared that long ago. Maybe he's... Like it, like is he? Did he not show up for his shift, or is he like he's gone and that's why you know? You said he's that's gone why last wrong. week. Okay. Yeah, he's been gone for like a week. He hasn't been at school. Okay. He hasn't been at work. Oh yeah, Kyle's just right. gone. Wait, so did that? Is that we? We don't know that we have each other's powers. We suspect, or we do know that we have powers. I, didn't I, I think like it if we don't know. But yeah, like, I think yeah. Okay, okay. we're all a little we're weird. All... <laughs> Yeah, we all saw each other, like, kind of secretly hanging out with Kyle. So now we're like, did Kyle tell them, too, about Kyle's powers? Like, <laughs> did mm. Kyle tell them about my powers? my powers? Maybe we all told Kyle. Suspect. Gotcha. Maybe we didn't have to tell Kyle. Maybe Kyle, Kyle just knew. knew. Kyle figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. Not only is he a super brain, he's also uh, uh, telepathic. He can yeah, realize. yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay, that's Dr. Great. X over here, yeah. Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Kyle. <laughs> Do- no. I'm gonna write this down. Oh, I hate uh, everything about Kyle. Team, team, team Dr. Kyle. Uh, Literally can't think of a more our generation, like early to mid 2000s name than Kyle. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. It is the peak 90s kid name. <laughs> All right. Very so much um what does anybody have an idea for their morning uh like work shift uh scene any any kind of like developments we we play this very fast and lose like we haven't had to make a roll yet but uh wait just so describe this next kind of setting again it's 
It getting says, to work. Uh, yeah, work like getting to work, learning something new, or creating a plan. Um, maybe we can develop that mall cop too. Like maybe they're specifically like I'm trying to think of how to phrase this. Like maybe they target like the weirdos. You know what I mean? So like that's also how we're all banding together. You know, maybe, maybe they convinced he... a lot of the theft last year was actually from employees. And they're like, Ooh, out to fucking yeah. get us. Yeah, yeah. Like it's they're inside lost... jobs, these little shithead kids trying to find a prevention. Like, yep. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Or maybe um maybe also like the last time we saw Kyle was like the mall cop leading him away. Yeah. Oh, the mall yeah, cop yeah. was having a talk with asked him to come to the office and we never yeah. saw Kyle again. Yeah. Right. I think he was also uh he's like one of those like not really like a dirty cop, but like he's working for an outside agency mm -hmm. and like is trying to figure out who has powers. Yeah, He's yes, exactly. One hundred percent. But the agent, that's, that's the not agency. a secret. No, 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 no not no. a secret agent. He's it's just a rent, a it's a rent to cop agency. That's really a front for him. Or it's just, like, it's just the like, FBI. He just like wants to suss people out so he can send in the tip. Yes, and get yeah, like the exactly. credit for it. Yeah. So, like, oh, he's yeah. just the bumbling cop dude yeah. that like. It's like, oh, this kid has powers. Like he, whatever. He gets like a commission. He gets yeah. a commission for like outing like kids. Bounty hunter, this guy's yeah. the worst. Fuck this guy. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Um. All right. Yeah, that's why he said, "I'm not afraid to take down a kid." Fucking <laughs> <Yep. laughs> He already did. He's done it. You know, you know what you did to Kyle. <laughs> Oh, so from Stockholm here says the only one I like is Kent. Everyone else feels like their soul has left them. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, yeah, I, I don't think. Oh, that's true. For, to be fair, I did put our regular names on the overlay because I didn't know what our character names were going to be. So mm, that's fair. That's fair. <gasps> um. All right. Um, Our soul has left us. <laughs> We're getting into character. It's Black Friday and we work retail, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Our souls yeah. have left us. That's, <laughs> that's, that's what it is. You get it. <laughs> um, all right. Yeah, we're all going to go villain real fast. Um, <laughs> that's why I kind of wanted here in villain. I was like, ooh, yes, villain. Yeah. yeah. We've learned this about Jess. She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't shy away from the, the evil play. She's just going to go around homelandering people. Oh no! Oh, that's an ex. Oh, that's oh. That's oh, why. Oh, that could mean that's so extreme. many things, and none of them are good. Yep. <laughs> um. All right. Does anybody have a first idea for a scene? Uh, basically, um, we're trying to hide our powers, but I think the best thing we could do, and obviously, pitch stuff to others as well if you want. I think the best thing we can do is like put each other in like shitty situations where our powers would be helpful, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Um, and like make it difficult to not use them, and then we can, you know, call for roles and stuff like that. Hmm. So this is like pre the mob coming in, or They're fucking about to. They're slamming oh, on the doors. Like, while the doors the are opening, coming in. No, so yeah, this yeah. is morning. So like, what we do, we're doing like a. Uh, I think maybe the the scene, the transition is like the doors opening and just the mob running in, yeah, and then the, right. it cuts to us like an hour into our shift. You know what I mean? Well, I'm even thinking like the, the mob running in is a pretty good, like dangerous oh. time too. Yeah, like just a stampede of people, multiple stores, people splitting off, people like rushing in different directions, everyone trying to get to the electronics of oh, the antenna hut. I guess antenna <laughs> hut coming oh, no. for you, mother. Yeah, fair, coming fair, for fair, you. Fair. Um, okay. Yeah, in I feel that like case, that's a chaotic time where like something could happen. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. The stores I... are all fucking pristine. The balloons are there. The flyers, everything is neat and in order. Just stacks and stacks of stuff. And this is the last time you'll ever see it like this. You know? 45 seconds later, mm -hmm. <laughs> just destroyed. I also um, wonder, I'm trying to think if it, this would be interesting or not, or if this is something we'd care about or not. If like there was another kid with powers and they yeah. were, like powers misfired or something like that during this. I think that that's definitely something we should do as a beat yeah. soon. You know what I mean? Like sooner mm -hmm. than later. And it kind of like, uh, that could be the learn something new, actually. Um, like in the midst of the chaos, like there's a scene where the mall cop is dragging some kid out. You know what I mean? But right now, I think, 
you're right. I didn't think about the fact that I work in the electronics store. So there's no Friday. restraint Fuck. for you. This sucks. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Yeah, like um, the the mob runs in and like Rat is bracing herself behind the token machine because she's at least got a little barricade of metal yep. around her. Yeah. Cause so it's like the last <laughs> barricade of safety. Uh, You're probably fine. Like, no one's getting on that fucking no, carousel no right now. <laughs> they, they just break just by true. you like a rock in the ocean. <laughs> and she's just like, watch. Everyone like, get to the carousel. <laughs> there are definitely kids screaming and pointing at her. And she's like, hey. But they're like being dragged away to some other store. Yep. Or Kent, too. I mean, uh, Levi's going to deal with a lot of kids being yeah, just dropped old, off. Yeah, some of the somewhat older kids are just going to be dumped. You're just inundated yeah. with people just dumping their fucking kids. Yeah. Like your babysitter. <laughs> All right. Honestly, like, uh, th so the Tilt always actually did have machines for sale, too. Ooh. You could go, you could straight up go and buy an arcade machine from them. You or Rat Ooh. are definitely going to get a crying child who has been separated from their parent. Absolutely. Let's, let's start. Let's start with that, like, immediately. Like, it's very early on, They're just right? fucking booking it, and some kid is fucking stuck in the horde. Like, gonna be trampled, even. Like, they're crying and turning around and confused, and people are running by him and bumping into him and shit, and they're they're in trouble. Yeah, I and you Just kind of guys... frozen between Tilt and the carousel in this coursing, just raging sea of psychotic adults infected with capitalism. <laughs> like... <laughs> Infected with capitalism. <laughs> yeah, what a line. <laughs> oh, God. So, oh, God. Rat, to... like, sees this kid. She's just like, oh, fuck. So she kind of, like, like, watching the crowd, just like, all right, how the fuck do I get by this? How the fuck do I get by this? And just, like goes under the, the rope that's preventing me from going into the carousel without without money and just like does a little like brace and then is going there she's gonna attempt like arms up Healy to the child. <laughs> Try to roll through. That oh, sounds shit. that sounds like a hero roll. Uh yeah. not not Aww. one where you're using your powers, we will have to shift it, I think, but I do think we should get our first roll for you to heal yeah. through uh, yep, a see crowd if you can of make it. Uh, Friday shoppers. Child. Okay. Yeah. Rats down. Rats Tell me it's down. a six. It's Tell me it's a six. Collision. Oh. Yeah, it's a fucking collision. Rat spins uncontrollably out on their healies. Creed, away, down. separated from the child in the sea. Rat is down. Rat is on the floor. And Rat, like, <laughs> makes it halfway and then gets bumped in the back by some, like, huge dude. And then it just goes down face first. And the next oh, thing no. Levi sees is Rat, like, skidding face first, just, like, next to the, like, on the border between the mall and the tilt. And she just looks up, just like, there's a crying child in the middle of the people. I, I I got it. I got it. They just, lost yeah. half a hot dog. Oh, like, it's just fucking gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a spill yeah. right now. There's a no, place. she finished her hot dog before the spiked lemonade. I'll, <laughs> oh, like, nice. pull you she into the tilt. Roll. Thank you, Spitty. Oh, I'm right. I do. The same thing. Future oh, reference. Oh, Future God. reference, Rat. I might, I might have given you a second die for the Heelys on that one, but we'll, we'll have to <laughs> deal with fine. that later. I accept right. it. Yeah, full days. on just taken out. So Levi, uh you see you see rat laying down as people are annoyingly avoiding her trying to get through to the stores. Hear I'll, hear uh, the crying child. I'll I'll uh, pull rat a little bit further away from the crowd so their legs don't get trampled. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just uh I'll I'll go to make my way up to the crying child myself to try to bring them back into the tilt. Yeah. <laughs> I am uh, down with some games. Yep. I, I am probably uh taller than rat, so I'm a little bit easier to see throughout the crowd. <clears throat> I'll just kind of like try to make my way through, just divert people if I can. <laughs> Te just technically deflecting them off of your body left and right. <laughs> Technically, if Rat isn't recovering, you could both try and do this and get help, 
or a second D6. Saying. Uh, I'd be out to help. Rat, like, Rat's taking some scuffs. She doesn't care. Rat uses Healy's Rat Balls down yeah. a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like... She's tried some sick grinds that just didn't land, you know? So... She's fallen off the carousel. She doesn't care. Yep. Oh, no. She probably jumped off Ow. the carousel, to be She right. has jumped off the yeah. carousel. You are I can see it. And attempted to land on the, the Healy's. roof of the carousel. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> This is what happens when the mall closes and everything shuts down. Yeah, you're healing off of every little bench and stuff. This is what happens for peppermint lemonades in. <laughs> oh, God. Peppermint it's so lemonade. Dells is actually really good at me. So, so Kent gets to roll two because I'm helping, right? Correct. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So 2d6 and you're trying to roll under three, Kent. All right. I got two twos. Hey. Two twos. All right. So that is a success between the two of you. Um, you managed to get to this crying child and bring them the gift of gaming. Woo! I'll, uh... I'm sorry your parents don't love you. Come! Come to the world of video games and comics! <laughs> Do you know who does love you? This video game character. This is Mario. <laughs> yeah. Mario! This is Mario. And his brother, Loogie. <laughs> Dank Danky Kang. Danky Kang. I'll probably just like open one of the skee ball machines, play as much as you want. Yeah. You know Get those I... those big tears just like oh. You're like the worst employee but the best person. <laughs> like, everything's free. <laughs> uh, so Rat I'll just give him a bear. Oh. Rat looks oh. up at Levi and she's like, Do we do we take do we have to call mall security, don't we? Oh yep. Missing yeah. child. Missing child or abandoned child, I guess. All right. I um, guess. Code Adam. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do they have like maybe it's like walkies or something? There's probably, probably like a wired phone. Or, uh, wired phone yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then like oh they'll like God, yeah. give a call to the security. <laughs> so so Rat will 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 dial the security. Just hey hey um. Hey, hey, Jeff, uh, we've got a, I don't know, like a five-year-old, uh, that, uh, got almost stampeded, uh, they're here at the tilt, um, Levi's got them chilling. um, can you send out a page for someone to come take their child? Am I playing the mall cop still? Yep. <laughs> yeah. He's sitting there. He's he's sitting there, and he's just like, oh, he's like, I can't make heads or tails of these screens. And he's like, duh, they're at the they're at the arcade, right? He goes, yeah, I'll make it. I'll make an announcement in a second. He just goes like, I think there's uh, think he's like, I see some shifty some shifty kids heading into the big box store, uh, which bullseye, whatever, <laughs> call it. Um, <laughs> and he's just like, all right, all right, I'll put out a code at him, and right. then the PA, thanks. Yeah, he hangs up before you say anything. Just hangs up. Over the mall security, and he's just like, uh, attention customers, uh, please please attempt to be as uh, orderly as possible during your holiday shopping. And he says, you are uh, missing a child. <laughs> there's, yeah, he says, like, <laughs> if, any, if any of you look around and see that you lost your small child, uh, they're playing skee-ball in Tilt. Uh, please report to Tilt for your child. Technically, I think you. Oh, five man. minutes, someone loses a child. Immediately, not even. It was like thirty seconds in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. And there's that parent, and like they're definitely frantically freaking out, <laughs> but they also look, and they they look right at the antenna hut, and they're just like, "But the Nokia." They're probably just still holding on to a glove. <laughs> yeah, they, they don't even recognize. Yep, they don't even recognize that the uh, the hands missing from the glove. They're pulling a full McAllister <laughs> right now. Mm-hmm. Um. All right. Do we want to cut to the retail kids, or do we want to cut to Stacy? Uh, maybe maybe some retail shenanigans. Retail. Yep. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, we're following the flow of the crowd. The crowd just hit the tilt in the carousel. And now it's going right toward the Radio Shack and the pay more. <laughs> So so go ahead, any of you, and complicate me and Amber's lives, or uh, Aiden and Jill's lives. We're just standing in the mouth of the store like, 
like the hero just like looking at the store all of all the shoes and items just perfectly in order and the music's playing in the background we just turn and look over our shoulder at the onrushing crowd with like a like a price gun in our hands like <laughs> have you guys seen uh, again i have a two-year-old so here's a reference that not many people might get but you guys seen toy story 3 when they're in the daycare and it's like all the toys excited to be played with. And then as soon as those kids come in, they're just dunked in paint oh, and looks, slammed yeah. and put in yeah. kids' mouth and thrown Idiot and smashed. Destruction. <laughs> it's exactly like that, where like Aiden's in the middle of this electronic store and he's like, do not grab that off the wall. And somebody just like yanks something and like a wire breaks and he's like, no, no, and he's just, <laughs> just trying to hold it together. It's John people Snow at the Battle of the Bastards just turning and facing the cavalry, the charging horses. <laughs> <laughs> just get slow motion dramatic music just like tells on in hand <laughs> uh i think at some point um aiden you you see uh you know you get this, all the rc cars and then one of them just like stops and you, you follow the you know the wire to make sure like some kid just didn't trip over it mm-hmm and what was the name of the squirrel? Oh, uh, Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> Gerald is just sitting there with the thing in its mouth staring at you. <laughs> just nod right in the nice. Oh, and this is rough because if I use my powers, everyone's going to be like, is this dude talking to a squirrel on the ground in the middle of Black Friday? <laughs> Gerald is just staring at you, chewing <laughs> menacingly. He just like stops, looks. Takes another bite. <laughs> oh, direct yeah. squirrel eye contact. Eye contact. Yeah. Aiden, and Aiden's like, fuck. Aiden's trying to find a customer he can yell at, but really yell at Aiden. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, what the can Gerald? I yell at this person that Gerald, oh yeah, that Gerald hey, doesn't understand I'm talking about. Put that down. And the guy's like, holding a copy. <laughs> yeah, this dude's buying no. like, the most exp This guy's buying a brand new, like, PlayStation 3 or whatever, right? And, he just, and I'm just like, Put that down. PlayStation dude. 2. <laughs> what what year did 3 come out? I mean, I feel like Not, it's got to be close. Uh, 2000. Oh, no. Either. Yeah, I was going to say that's true. Yeah, I was still playing yeah, 2 in, in high 6. school. Six. <laughs> PS2 is... 98? Yeah, it was in 97 or something really? like that. Yeah. Holy no, shit. 99. Really? It's what like one of the longest... It uh, came out in North America at the end of the... Uh, in October of 2000. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. So, oh, wow. Right, so it's a PS2. Like so it's yeah. a PS2. Special um, edition or something. It's got a wrap on it. <laughs> it's the slim. It's the slim. Okay, it's the, ah, timeline. We're very, we're very, we're very whatever with this. Wishy-washy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, basically. Okay, so Aiden's going to look at this customer who's about to make a huge purchase for Black Friday. And he's going to be like side-eyeing Gerald and be like, put that down. I have a better one in the back. And, like, he's trying to convince Gerald. Roll to uh, convince Squirrel? Yeah. Do I get two because of my power or background? Are or do I just get one? Are you using your power? I mean, he, His I'm power talking... is just to talk to animals, not to make them agreeable. <laughs> That's, That's fair. fair. Uh, and yes. All right. I'm rolling. And this is Hero. Because otherwise I'd just yell at Gerald and it'd be villain, right? Like I don't know. You're kind of yelling at a customer to a degree. Oh, this is this is true. I'm yelling, yelling at a at customer. A yeah. That you told to shut up earlier, so he has every right to be angry about how you treated him. <laughs> all right, all right. So I'm going to say I'm rolling with Bill in here. We're uh, on Team Squirrel. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. I am too. Um, Someone's going to so, roll the villain right now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm rolling villain, and you guys can decide whether or not I have to shift villain. Nah, probably Ooh, I, not for that. No, not, not for this. this. I, did, for I did succeed, though, and so both the customer and Gerald probably not stop. Bad. And I'm like, I'll go get it. And like, what I do is like, I bend down pretending I'm picking up something else, and I'm gonna grab Gerald, and I hold him close, and like, I, I, and I hide him behind like another box, and I'm just like, Gerald, today's really not a good day to be messing with me, dude. I'm gonna be going nuts. Gerald's like nuts. nuts? <laughs> <laughs> he is Gerald's a very excitable squirrel. Just, just um, you said you had something better, better in the back. What's my prize? Yeah, and then uh, yeah, Aiden's just like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And Aiden's like, oh, okay, all right. And, and he goes back there, and he, Aiden opens his lunch, and he's like, son of a bitch. <clears throat> and he's going to feed. Sandwich, the driest peanut butter sandwich you've ever had. <laughs> he is a this joke, this poor joke, Jess. 
I know. Uh, <laughs> so um, I, I did just remember that in the mall back in the day, there was a lemonade and nut stand right outside. Was the that? there was at the end of the food court? They sold lemonade. And yes, there nuts. was. Yes, there I feel was. Like Ted, I feel like you were the most mall kid out of all of us here. I, I very much was. I, <laughs> I I spent a lot of money and time at the tiller. <laughs> um, it sounds vaguely familiar. Like not in the food cart, but like at the very end of it. At right? the very end, there yes. used to be like oh like a coin fountain there too. And it was right in front of the coin fountain that there was a lemonade and like nut stand great perfect all right i have, I have an both. idea then so what i tell what i tell gerald is and i'm like all right stay here for a second i'm gonna run i'm gonna grab you some nuts and and i go whatever you do, don't drink that dale's cup <laughs> and oh, okay and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna go shirk my duties for a minute uh to go grab I'm gerald some nuts over. yeah that's gonna be a wasted and belligerent squirrel out for nuts do I roll to see if Gerald gets shwasted? <laughs> yeah, we'll yes. roll for Gerald, for sure. Well, yeah. I'm going to roll for Gerald. Gerald's villain he's... score is definitely like a five. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, at least a four. Yeah. I'll go, yeah, four. I say four. Four, four. four. Like, four. four. Yeah. 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 four because we're about to shift it to five. Yeah. We're doing yeah. what he was told not to do. Yeah. 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 Gerald yes. Just, yes. Gerald's Gerald. an average squirrel, which means he's just kind of a dick. Um, yeah, I mean, they start at four. Yeah. Two and four. That's the yeah. average squirrel. I rolled a one. Gerald, oh, yeah. yep. Gerald watches for Aiden to leave, and as soon as he hears the door, just he does a squirrel keg stand. He gets on top of it and he chews a hole in the bottom and just like fucking shotguns the dells. He shotguns the peppermint dells. <laughs> so Aiden like, comes oh, none back. of those things. Aiden terrible. comes back no, and Gerald don't. just whips his head out of the. Lemonade. It doesn't have a tab. Like, can't shotgun right. it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, oh, fair. Yeah. But he could definitely keg stand and chew a hole in the bottom and then just, ah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, that's, all right. <laughs> that's, that's what Aiden's dealing with. But he did, he did sell a PS2, so that's pretty good. He did. Yeah. Shoes. Oh, man. What is, Fuck. uh. Jill is... at the shoe store? So Yo, what's I, going on with Jill? Fair survival right now. Are we gonna say? I think it for uh for Jill with the shoe store right now, uh it is complete pandemonium. Maybe it's not like the store's full, but there's just like two or three people that are causing it's, absolute havoc. They're just tearing through. this has happened all the time back in my shoe days. Sh it's yeah. fine. It's just a couple people free. they're tearing through everything. They're literally just pulling shoes out of boxes, putting them on their feet, and then just fucking throwing them. Nothing oh. there's one shoe in every fucking box. The boxes are like on the floor. They're everywhere. You can't find the left shoe to anything. Like it's just they're fucking tearing it up. I'm Someone's desperately reached picking up. up shoes and trying to maintain this fucking order and it's not really worth it and my co-worker Danny he is a little bit older than us and he takes his responsibilities at the shoe store way too fucking seriously and it's not a good look <laughs> and he thinks because he's a little older than me even though he's a floor associate just like me that he can tell me what to do <laughs> and man this feels me. this feels this feels uh <laughs> personal <laughs> play what you know <laughs> Someone's like several customers have just uh, like they have they need a size from the top of the rack at the bottom of the rack. So they just try to grab it and knock down like four oh, stacks no. of, sh uh, of boxes. But I'm going to go I'm going to go up to these two inconsiderate monsters. I'm just going to be like, can you not? <laughs> I'm going to raise my voice and just be like, can you not? <laughs> Is, is that a roll? Mm -hmm. I don't know. That is oh, guys, a what good question. Do you <laughs> I definitely think it would be a roll. Uh, a roll to intimidate the customer. <laughs> I mean, it's, definitely, a little, it's, it's a little villainy. It's a little definitely villainy. Definitely a little sure. villainy. Can you not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Roll villain. Yeah. yeah. One. All right. Yep. Can you not? <laughs> just like oh, crazy, wow. really stressed out, villain. loud. <laughs> I, I, def I definitely see Jill. Like she has the, uh, like the the shoehorn <laughs> size 
Oh, um, the slider hands, thing? The slider yeah. thing. She's helping people uh, kind of like uh, find their shoe size and maybe because you're stressed Ooh. out and people are uh, making everything else, no. your power might activate a little bit Ooh. and the metal okay. starts to corrode. Yes, I love it. Can you not? <laughs> yeah. And the rest is just creeping up the slide on this. The person bucket. is probably terrified and like drops all of the shoes in their hand and they're like watching you and then their eyes like go to that shoe horn just like changing and they like look back at you. I kind of want to say that the role uh, actually to kind of change the role mm -hmm. uh, instead of it like you yelling at the customer it is a hero villain role to uh, you notice that you started to corrode something so it is a hero role to uh, either get rid of the measuring thing really quickly so that they can't see it, like throw it behind the counter or just like leave it out there as like an intimidation as it's corroding. Mess with me. Mm. Well, uh, no, I'm not ready. I know what happened to Kyle, so I'm going to uh -huh. lower it, you know, kind of to my side and a little bit like behind, turn my body a little bit to try to just get out of you. And I'm just going to be like, tell me what you're looking for and I will get it for you. The... I, I was I was gonna say I think that uh, I was thinking about the security kid in the arcade thing. Normally, I think security would go get the kid and tell them to pick them up Come at security. security. Yeah. I think so, like, too. so Jeff like put that out and said, like, you know, find the kid at tilt. If not, you know, oh, he's on um, his way. but then he's on his way, and I think he sees Jill snap at a customer, and Jill really has to hide that power. And, like, mm -hmm. Jeff just, like, the eyes. He's just, like... That was perfect, ready. <laughs> Panicking. Just a little bit. I'm gonna... Ah, uh, God, I'm just gonna bend down and start picking up some more shoes, and I'm gonna, like, stuff the rusted sizer, like, into a box. <laughs> As I'm grabbing them. Just fucking shuffle them off out of this aisle after yelling at these customers. Heart's kicking a little bit. Shit, that was close. This is not good. It's been, I look at the clock, five minutes. <laughs> yeah, five minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, perfect. And that leaves Stacy. Yeah, I can't actually imagine what Stacy is doing right now. She is handing out samples, maybe mildly yelling at people to, like, wait and, like, take her time to, like, pour more samples, and then, like, slowly listing out all of the flavors, like, <laughs> to every single customer just to buy some time. But I don't know what could be happening with her. It's, you said it's a truck, right? It is a truck, What yes. if she feels the truck start to shake? Because, like, yeah, some, like, from all the people the moving assholes, by. yeah. What? Oh, oh what if there's a Kids huge are spill? It. What if there's like a big mess? Like somebody like spills their dells all over the place and like now like nah, gonna... I have to get out of the truck to clean it. Somebody fire in the holes, you. Oh no. They what throw the that? sample back at you. That's when they ask for a drink, they order like a large something, and then they just go fire in the hole and they throw it back in at you. Oh no. I've never heard of this. Me either. Yeah. That's some evil that's some evil stuff. Yeah. People do that in drive throughs. Yeah, they do. Oh, like a big a drink or something, and there's fire in the hole, and they throw it back in at the drive thru Wait, we do not Real condone any dicks. of this for the record. <laughs> so let's show what dicks these people are. This. These are not the heroes of the story, y'all. <laughs> Will Maddie be the first person to just be pissed and melt this person's? <laughs> Stacy, Stacy, yes, crap. Oh God, I'm what are you doing? Oh God, God the pumpkin I'm you skipped have skipped underneath you. the counter. <laughs> Here comes the pumpkin. Here comes the pumpkin. I know. Hey, the pumpkin spice dells. That leads into the next complication. Somebody is dying on the floor. They're you bleeding into their cranium. You know what? I'm going to go the same route that Kent was kind of suggesting. I want to, like, this dude or kid or whoever throws this drink back, and I want my eyes to kind of just flare to scare them. Yeah. Ooh. I want to go. Villain intimidation. Roll it. Seven minutes past four in the morning. That's one day. Yeah. <laughs> that one day? Uh, uh, using you're your using, power. using my power. Yeah, that's kind of how we're framing background. I think more than anything in this version. Um, normally, it would be more about like what your character is about, but I think that power kind of works for background. And this is rolling for villain. Yes, I got a one. 
Okay, well, we're, we're rolling very well, success. so luckily... So that is a success. Um, and then do I shift? Um, I don't think that was okay. too egregious. No, no. Anybody else? No? Um, but yeah, basically, uh, actually, I mean, let's let's look again real quick at the rules, just so mm -hmm. to do this. If you succeed on a roll by following the rules or being generally conformist, or being, like, in this case, for being a hero, if you hero succeed on a roll by being a good person, basically, then we should shift to hero. If you do it through, this says chaos or impulsiveness, but for villain, it could be, like, intimidation or, you know... Yeah, yeah, selfishness. Shift. Yeah. yeah. So maybe, yeah, maybe you should shift to uh, to villain. Yeah. Yes, I think. And and maybe Amber too, but I think Amber's was more accidental, e even on a success. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah. So we'll we'll leave that for now. Um. All right. So big me big mess in the truck right now. Right in the uh, hall. Ah. Yeah. It's a bummer. Uh, but I think that we should introduce the janitor. It's a bunch of over. fucking college freshmen. Just fucking oh, yeah. Dicks. <laughs> People coming to hang out at the mall at 3 o'clock in the morning. During to Black harass Friday. the mall teenagers and food service people. Uh, I already know the janitor. Uh, <laughs> okay, so Jason I just got the janitor calls over, I, I already know the janitor. Okay, oh, do we get... Yeah, I'll pick up the phone, I'll dial... We have a spell. Location. Bye, paycheck. This is Stacy. I work at the lemonade store. This the lemonade store is Long such a funny. Way. Such a funny. Uh, place. And and y'all know uh, the main janitor that is there almost every day is Merle. Merle. Merle, Merle. Merle is like some ambiguous age between 60 and 80. No one knows. Farrell. Um, He just has that good old standard janitor's blue button up one piece a little name Classic. tag that says Merle. Yep. Merle it's just makes his mop. way down. And oh, Merle's yeah. like true neutral. He's just Merle. Merle don't rush for nothing. Cleans it's his Merle kind of person. Person. <laughs> But Perfect. he does a damn good job. Yep, he doesn't slack. He doesn't speed. Just he's just Merle. Slow and steady, yeah. man. Just Merlin. Yeah. He's just perfect. Merlin. <laughs> yeah. He's just like, Merlin. We're he's... shutting down the truck while this gets cleaned up. You can blame Time that out. guy. Time out. Can we talk? <laughs> is Merle short for Merlin and he has powers? He is he a just... wizard. He's a wizard. He is a wizard. <laughs> he is now. He's Merlin. got a big old Merle. beard and his <laughs> Merlin. His his mop is actually like a staff. It's a staff. It's yeah. A... He's got like his, stars it's like on his the... It's gnarled and stuff. Oh, I love it. Oh, yeah, that's great. Love Merle. Merle. <laughs> It's uh, just Merlin awesome. along. It's just Merlin along. I think that so next up is uh is lunch. So we've all dealt with a little bit, we've all made a roll, we're learning a little bit. I mean, it's the chaos of Black Friday. I think that uh obviously it's not it's not lunch, but it's like our 15 minute break or whatever. Yeah, 15 That we're yeah. all that we're all ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rain stuff. <laughs> Merle played by Christian, boom roasted. Boom roasted. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. nice. Um, so I think that we coordinate our break, and uh, and I think that during lunch it says here, um, fuck, we're not in the food court. We're in like an access corridor hiding. Yeah, from we are people. absolutely yeah. in the back. We're in the back, and I'm nursing a sick Gerald that ate half my lunch, and I'm pissed <laughs> about it. Um, he's but he's just trying to fight everything. He's like. Have you ever seen those, like, yeah, fermented squirrels, like, that have eaten, like, the fermented pumpkins that are just, like... Oh, I just realized, though, none of you know I have powers, so it's really weird that you guys just see me holding, holding the squirrel. This squirrel. <laughs> yeah. And um, the squirrel is just, like, you hear the squirrel before you see Aiden walk, and you just hear, like, this, like, faint, like... And Aiden just hears, like, I'm gonna fight him, and I'm gonna beat him up, and they're not gonna do anything to me, and I'm gonna get my fucking nuts. <laughs> I'm gonna get the popcorn. <laughs> and yeah, and for some reason, and I think that maybe he's already back there. Um, <laughs> that fucking sparrow's been talking shit all week. From, I've had enough of it. I'm, I'm sorry. From Stockholm, just fucking said what scares me is three of you have the same door. Me and oh my. <laughs> <laughs> 
just different angles saying really oh my god <laughs> they really are they're like the same target <laughs> door that's crazy fucking over a year of streaming and we've never noticed we all the holy same shit door. wow that is it is that the is same really kind of terrifying and kind of all in rooms. the same place we're like, in the same house, three, Jake. <laughs> three different rooms. <laughs> the call's coming from inside the mall. No, uh, <laughs> from inside the house. Um, yeah, I think that uh, before you guys join for a creepy streamers, um, <laughs> you guys before before you guys join for lunch. Um, yeah, you hear that, and you just hear this, like the sound of a squirrel just kind of going nuts, and. Aiden is casually like, maybe this is weird, I guess. But Aiden's just like, I told you not to drink that. This is your own fault. Uh, I'm not going to get you anything else until you uh, get. I'm going to put you outside. I'm going to put you outside if you don't stop. Ooh, you don't have the balls, you son to? of a bitch. <laughs> Jill, I, I think he's talking to you. He's not even looking at me. <laughs> And I turn around and I'm just like, oh, sorry, some really different. And I just hide <laughs> the squirrel behind my back. Some Ye some really difficult customers say, how are you guys? How's your days going? What's up? <laughs> hey, say. Fucking hell, man. I'm ready to just quit. Yeah, don't, dude. People don't give a shit at all. They don't think about anybody but themselves. Totally. I'm definitely Ow. getting robbed, like, right now. <laughs> 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 you locked up the truck, right? Like. Yeah, of course I walked up the truck. It's got a window. Mm. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't it also have a door? It closes down. <laughs> I it's know, dark. I always use the window. <laughs> <laughs> the door is stuck. <laughs> <laughs> Levi, did they come pick up that five-year-old yet? I can't see into the fucking tilt. No, he's still there. Oh, he's... God damn it! Yeah, he's... Todd's watching him right now, but... Ooh, can I check and see if he's still there? And, like, what's going on with him? Yeah, Fuck use your powers to look the wall. Yeah. Oh. Check on him. Check on uh, child. That's, that's definitely that's a hero right there. For sure. Got the, the isolated child. The two days? I'd two say so. Sure. Oh, but now one. I was gonna say you have to roll. A, you'd have to roll a one because you your hero know. is down to two, right? Oh, I have to roll under. I can't roll like on the dot because my no, hero's two. Is your hero's with complications, right? Correct. Oh, that's correct. Right. Gotcha. On the gotcha. dot as a uh, complication. Gotcha. I got under. Yeah. But you got so under. So I'd be like five-year-old child. What? Yeah. So uh, that's really that's really impressive use of your powers. Um, but do you bring it up or do you just kind of no, do a scan I'm just for yourself? Like, the, while they're talking about it, and I'm just gonna make sure he's there, and just if I see him, be like, "Yeah, he's there." You or can, if I, you can see he's a, not, be like, "He's missing." Or small something. child, just like, because I presume you can only see the kid, and you can't see like what's. I can only see his like bone structure. Yeah. Yeah. So there's a kid doing vague motions, which you assume is a skee ball game. <laughs> That's exactly what it is—the bowling motion. Yeah. Yep. And then at one point, you see the little kid just like do like this thing, and like. <laughs> 10,000 points. Yeah, yeah Stacey's he, he just going to be like, one. Stacey's just going to be like, wow, how many free tokens did you give him? He's been there for hours. Somebody just left their kid? Uh, not left. Dropped? So, for, forgot. It's been two hours. Kind of the same thing, yeah. I mean, I mean, he's still in the mall, right? It happened five minutes after opening, Jill. Yeah. He looks like he's having a good time. He's having fun. <laughs> he's he's doing Levi. fine. Did you he's see doing him? good. Yeah, I saw I saw you guys go into the tilt with Levi. Okay, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Fucking Kyle had the right idea. Take it off before this bullshit. He took off. Did I heard he got that? kicked out. No, didn't, didn't we see him get uh, pulled away no. by uh, Jeff there? Yeah. Jeff, Jeff like, escorted him out of the mall. You think he, like, Thanks. stole something? Maybe he got fired. Oh, no. How would Kyle get fired? From? Blessing in disguise. <laughs> yeah, Kyle didn't seem like the... the no. Although, you type. know what? The, the Waldo is strangely less busy compared to everything else, probably because these animals don't fucking read. 
not a lot they're of not here for bugs. When you say yeah. when, when you say that, uh, Aiden kind of like scratches his head and he's just like, "I'm pretty sure animals don't read." And then like behind his back, he's like, "Do you?" <laughs> no. <laughs> Gerald just responds. I know like five words, my dude. I've been in a mall for like a year and a half, so I'm basically ancient for a fucking squirrel. He's a wise old guess. squirrel. He's actually just a he's a drunk old squirrel. He's like, I like books. It makes good bedding. Yeah. Great nesting material. <laughs> I know what a Dell's cup looks like, motherfucker. I have class. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, you know what the bottom of a Dell's cup looks like too? A uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Are you having a stroke? <laughs> nope. And then like and then and then I think Aiden panics and just like drops Gerald and it's like a squirrel just like skitters down the ball. Staggers, staggers, runs into staggers. the trash can, lays there for a minute. <laughs> I'm free! Oh, I'm free! <laughs> best okay, this is going for best NPC on the DMs. Yeah, think. for sure. <laughs> for sure. This girl you is can, amazing. You can ask if, if we ever group, do this. I'm, I'm pretty pretty proud if of my we... animal voices. Uh, uh, <laughs> you gave me a drunk squirrel, so Oh man. Good. Uh Rat sees the squirrel run and she's just like Were you holding a squirrel? What? No. He must have gotten into my lunch. And then I turn around and I'm like, oh fuck, dude. He got into my lunch. And oh, I'm like you were... totally trying to lie and like Oh fuck! Did you, you hold up a whole sandwich. <laughs> like, oh no! You just jab your finger into it a few times to look like squirrel Finger bites. Like, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> or um, just crush it in your hand, very like muscle, like. Got it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right, just like full on <laughs> crush it. Oh no, do you? Oh no. <laughs> Um, I'm going to, I'm going to inject some drama here though. I think that we're in the back access hallways, right? Which yeah. obviously it's a busy day. It's black Friday. And, um, like Jeff said, keep an eye out for shoplifters, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I think that this is where he, we, we see him dragging out, out of like view of the public. He's like dragging some, some kid through the access things, like to, to take him out. Like outside, you know what I mean. <laughs> Take him out. He's got a gun in one hand. <laughs> just hanging him out back. Played by he just a got his taser. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Crouching tiger, hidden block. Yeah, exactly. That's the joke. He's got a taser. No, but yeah, I think he's uh he's taking a kid out, and maybe we can see signs of that, that... like um that Is mishap. That Sam. Sam. Shit, this is somebody no. What's Sam's superpower that accidentally went off? Um, and where does Sam work? Let's consult our silly chart of What of, if we names. see like remnants of like embers flicking out of Sam's hand? Ooh. Mm. Like they accidentally lit fire to something because they panicked. Mm. That sounds good. Can, can I, Sam can Sam be a Hiem employee? Hell yeah, Sam's a Hiem employee. Yeah. <laughs> accidentally lit a furniture on fire. Yeah, they just straight yes. up lit a, a bruka on fire. A bruka. Sarah's got her uh, not it's IKEA the, name. Yeah, I, I pulled it's the not IKEA I pulled that straight out of horror story. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a couch. The oh, a couch. Like, oh so he's in Leander's. He's in Leander's section. Not cool, bro. Aw, Leander. Um, all right. I think. Oh, so the fire alarm went off some at some point too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we I'm see gonna... him just dragging Sam towards the exit. I'm gonna go after them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that it's Sam. Uh, Aiden's just like, Jeff, what are you doing, dude? Sam, are you okay? Oh, I'm Jeff. Shit. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me while I talk to myself. Um, <laughs> but, uh, go ahead. <laughs> No, I, I didn't have anything. I was trying to think if, like, one of us... One of us could also switch over to play Jeff, too. It doesn't have to just be you. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that Aiden's mostly just backing okay. up uh, the rest. So, Je so Jeff is just like... Uh, What's going on? This one started a fire in the in the furniture store. He's like, that weird Swedish one? I never pronounced it right. He's like... Hyman? Why would <laughs> Sam set their own store on fire? And Sam's like, dude, it was an accident. I didn't mean it. 
I thought that, and like Sam's trying to make up an excuse. Maybe he's like, I thought the candle was fake, dude. I thought the candle was fake. <laughs> fake fire. <laughs> like, uh, in, in like a furniture store, right? Like a fake, like little setup. Did you, you know, in like a... did you find that kid's parents, Jeff? <laughs> Jeff's just like, no, uh, yeah, I, I got a, I got Ted going over to grab him, bring him to security. Ted was supposed to go over there like an hour ago. Ted didn't go over there. That, that sounds like you should take it up with Ted. Uh, maybe I'm... you maybe you should find Ted. It sounds like a hero role to me. <laughs> yeah. It sounds like a hero good. role. He is yeah. your subordinate, right? There <laughs> uh, we go. Hero role six. Terrible oh, failure. No. <laughs> um, oh, do you start decaying something in frustration? Ooh, we should do that with failures. Thing. What's that? I don't think I'm holding anything. Mm, mm, true. You're touching, you know what you're touching though? The floor. Oh, should it be skin touching? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Maybe okay. you're just like holding like the cuffs of your coat. Like you get your fingers uh, curled down. Yeah, like balled into fists, like holding like, like a Mountain Dew bottle. Maybe I took a drink outside or something. That's, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, we're, yeah. On, we're lunch, on lunch. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. On break. Mountain oh, Dew no. bottle. So your Mountain Dew just like and like spills all over the floor. Yeah, it's the Mountain Dew actually starts like inside of it starts to like congeal too. Like it's Ooh. like it's been evaporating and stuff into like a mm. gross kind of like sludgy slime. And the bottle starts to like, you know, pockmark and pucker, like it's getting like weathered. Ooh. Yeah, like almost yeah. melting almost, right? Like and then Yeah. Um oh that's that gets real bad. And Jeff's oh, just and like... then it pops, it bursts the mountain the Mountain Dew inside oh. going all fucked up, like the bottle's just gonna explode. Sounds, hand. sounds like a pop, and like Jeff like takes cover, and they like he's like holding Sam down, and he looks up at you, and he's just like, "The hell was that?" And he goes, "Maybe I should call Ted." And he like pulls out his thing, and he's like, "Ted, I'm gonna need backup in the access tunnels. We got a bunch of kids back here. Employees just." <laughs> I'm a bunch of kids back here. We work here. We're on Jeff. Our... <laughs> hey, we're on our break. I'm definitely taking a few steps back. I'm like separating myself from this. <laughs> but this is this is when you guys notice that like I think we got we we talked about this before. Jeff is a rent a cop for this mall security, but he's really a um Someone you know, else. he's working yeah, Sam he's like, looks Sam looks afraid. Sam looks terrified, yeah. I'm gonna um, yell like Sam run and then I'm gonna Oh damn, let's fucking... go run <laughs> and hope sam follows oh. me like kind of lead the way like sam run <laughs> oh we're all booking it not me i don't know if you're booking it but i'm just like sam run <laughs> and i'm just gonna kind of run by Aww. and try to like grab sam and just like haul haul him over <laughs> this is one of those classic kid movie scenes where yeah just, yeah like, ready to we all mall. scatter through the mall and now and now the fucking mall okay I'm, like, coming up. I'm gonna make i'm gonna make a ruling right now i think that if if we run we're not going back to our shifts because Jeff will know where to find us. So now we're going to be loose in the mall. We all shift to villain if that's the case, if you book it. Otherwise, you're going to shift to hero if you go back to your job and try and lower the heat on you from Jeff. Aiden's going to yell, Gerald, bite. And then <laughs> it's going to run. Bite. And Gerald's going to be like, ah, he's going to bite and, the pavement. He's and drunk. all of you, once again, just go like, who the fuck is Gerald? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out when something bites something. Yeah. yeah. Um, so okay. I think that's I think that's fair. Like, no, I, I am, I, am I out of line? For no, that? no. I think no, that's a yeah. great suggestion. It's very chaos versus. So yeah. What, like what I'm trying. This is, you know what? Hero and villain is nice, but really, this is chaos versus. <laughs> yeah, we're just. It's yeah, yeah. always sad. wholesome and chaos. Why didn't we do that? We could have done this so. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, that's true. Next one. Next one. So how I'm picturing um, this works is that it all happens at once where where Jill is like, Sam, run! And like, and then Aiden's like, Daryl, bite! And so as Sam like struggles right, to Gerald, get out bite. of Jeff's Jeff's arms, like, who? <laughs> the next thing you hear is Jeff just going, ah, what the? And it, Gerald bit him. Drunk so squirrel. back enough to get Sam to book it. I don't even Drugs know where we're going. We're fucking running. <laughs> Rabies. Into the mall. <laughs> do I make a hero roll to convince Gerald, or is Gerald just going to do me a solid? I think Gerald's yeah, going to be drunk. Gerald's been looking to fight someone. Yeah. 
said yeah. pounding that you, spiked gels. <laughs> you just gave Gerald consent to do what Gerald wants. Yeah, uh-huh. all right. You gave um, him booze, Dell's lemonade, but, and the not chance intentionally. to bite someone. Gerald's fucking in like Flynn. <laughs> all right. I think that if it's okay... <laughs> Wow. This is why people need to see our chats. Jess, unexpected. I know. Okay. Continue. Um, yes! I was hoping it was that. Speaking of Jess. Yes, I'm so proud. <laughs> Team Wholesome. Team Wholesome. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Wholesome and uh, Stacy and Aiden, whose goal was to ask Stacy out, I think that he's going to use this opportunity to just try and grab Stacy's hand when they run for it. Just gonna. Stacy's like, oh, I'm not running. I'm not running, <laughs> so I might try and pull my hand, out, like yank out of your grip. I mean, he's a jock. He'd be like, hop on, piggyback. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And yeah, and then he realizes what he said. And he's like, never, never mind. Uh, and then he looks back at Jeff, and he's just like, see you, Stace. She's just like, you should go. Yeah. <laughs> oh. She's like, you should go. <laughs> he has a lot of money, though. <laughs> that That is not, yeah, I mean, Aiden does not have many, uh... He has a boat. <laughs> and a boat, yeah. He's, he's got a boat. boat. He put that boat. Nokia aside for me, too. He's not as bad as he seems. Yeah. He's all right. <laughs> As we're uh, uh, all booking it, uh, running by uh, Jeff there, I'm going to uh, as we're as we like run by as Daryl like bites him and he uh, flinches back. I'm gonna touch his uh, radio as I run by and Ooh. short it out. Ooh, yeah, shit. Hero roll, shit, for sure. Oh. And I think that this, I think that our our. Obviously, we're shirking our duties and supposed to be doing our jobs, but I think that all of us are gonna. This uh, is like the ro- more Robin Hood hero than villain yeah, sort of yeah. thing that we're doing yeah, right. right now. Yeah. We're like right. we're standing yeah. up, risking it for the little guy sort of thing. Yeah. yeah, this is turning into a you know. Maybe Sam is literally the little guy, like Sam, like he's like a year younger than all of us. I was thinking Sam lives at the same trailer park that I live at too, Aww. so I'm like, yeah, not gonna let this guy fuck with Sam. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, so should I just roll one or two? Two, because I think we established two. using your power. Two with the powers. Power yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. that. Uh, that's effectively your background. Yeah. Uh, I got a two. I was gonna say uh, I'd, I'd almost argue three for help from Gerald, but we'll just keep it at two. <laughs> two is a success, though. Two is a success. Uh, I do think you should shift hero, maybe. Yeah. On I'll, this I'll episode of Gerald hero, finds yeah. a nut. Yes. <laughs> 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 I think he's so joke out letters. You know what? We're gonna have to find a game where we can play. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, you know, solo or otherwise. I, I just want to play Gerald in the mall. <laughs> I mean, like, I just want to play. <laughs> yes. Like, oh like my a god. Mall Gerald's critters. Play. One of us plays a sparrow. One of us plays a rat. One of us plays Gerald. <laughs> yes. Yep. That yep. That's great. Oh. Um, all right. Um, yeah, and instead of instead of corporate and cred, it's feral and fancy. It's- yeah! <laughs> uh, so uh, do we, do, are we all scattering? Is anyone staying behind? I'm, I'm staying and going back, hopefully, to my job. I love the confidence of Stacey to just stand there and be like, what just happened? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I want, I want to track everyone, if I can. Just, yeah. like, go x-ray vision and just try and follow and see where everyone goes. Yeah. Seems fair. Yeah. We're definitely I mean, going into the stock room of the Heim. Yeah. And get should lost we, back there. Should we make, uh, <laughs> is that is that a roll just for, like, your powers? I think that's, I think that, I'll that's call that good. That's a pretty standard use, I mean, do, are we rolling standard for running use. versus staying? Uh, no, I just, I think that if you ran, shift to staying. villain. Oh, okay. Or if I'm staying, shift to hero. I see. Well, so should I'm I stay say... neutral? Oh, should I stay neutral? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's like a Robin Hood act rather yeah. than like yeah. a villain act. I don't think this is a shift. True. Yeah. I think this, okay, nets, we'll leave it this neutral. nets neutral. Because okay. yeah, yeah, like yeah, on the one hand, we're being, we're disrupting the mall and everything and like the status quo. But yeah. on the other hand, 
it's for the underdog. The person level. we're the is yeah, yeah, I see. the bad guy. Yeah, I will yeah, say yeah. this though: if if the analogs were corporate and cred, this would one thousand percent be, be cred. a cred yes. shift for sure. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> but you know, this so. is a game that you can adjust that stuff with. You can bend that, yeah, and, and yeah, and and we decided to change the uh, change the stats just to see how it felt in like the game we were thinking about how this was going to play out and. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. It doesn't work as a perfect one to one. So that's fine. It's yeah. you know, all right. So all right. So that's our lunch break, which means that um, <laughs> lunch is over. Going. <laughs> lunch is over. Um, it's now the evening of the beats, but really it is like I think at this point, um, the only way we could have taken. Up. <laughs> I think the only way that this would have worked. Um, I want to like, know if anyone gets caught. I think the mad rush is over. Yeah, you know? it's like it's it's just a super busy day. People it's are not like running and trampling now, anymore, and the mall is trashed, and people are just yeah. milling about, picking through like the fucking corpses of the yeah. stockpiles and stuff. <laughs> um. So. So yeah, well, I guess that's a good question. Where where did we end up? Maybe that's that's how we do this. Like, yeah. uh, let's start with Stacy. Stacy, did you just go back to work? Yeah, I think so. If like if they don't try to hold me, which I'm hoping that they don't, then I just kind of go back to work. But I kind of stay. I want to stay in X-ray vision and just like keep tabs on either one person or like a couple people. Did anybody if they, else if they go back to, to be work? Running together. Did anybody else go back to work? Carousel is unmanned. Totally fine. Oh no, you know what I should do? I'm gonna track the cops, the mall cops. Yeah. That's what All right. Instead, instead of um, and then Levi, did you go back to tilt? Uh, probably not the best idea. Mm. So I'll, I'll probably be just like probably roaming around the mall, the other end acting the mall. casual, acting, acting casual. casual. You're like running, cool. then blending, you slowed out, just trying to blend in your yeah. tilt workers shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um, which is fine because I got a uh, I got a flannel over it. Perfect. Button that, Button that sucker up. Yep. I I will say then, um, Stacy. I think that if you're the only one who made it back to work, Jeff has checked all of the places we're all working and notices that none of us are back, but notices that you are. Mm. Which I mean, I think I think he would. You know what? Maybe it's not Jeff because Jeff was busy with. Oh, Sam got away though. Sam yep. got away. He did. Awesome. Jeff's checking. Jeff's still looking for Sam. At the very least, Sam. Okay. Maybe Sam and Jill. But Shit. Ted is going to come check on you. <laughs> the other Fucking security Ted. guard. And basically just be like, Hey, uh, heard there was a what? scuffle in the back. Uh, where'd your friends end up? Not back at their jobs. Busiest friends? day of the year. I mean, I don't I don't know those people. Would you I like mean... a lemonade? Or some nuts? <laughs> It's just like, I mean, yeah, it's, you get you get pretty thirsty on the job. You know, it's pretty demanding, especially on a day like this. I'll take a, I'll take a lemonade. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> totally gonna spit in that lemonade. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Shift villain for sure. I mean, okay. I, I know again. I know it's not like, you know, it's not villain villain, but that's a. That's it's more like we've got more like a hero anti hero kind hero, of thing going right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Here's your refreshing pumpkin spice. <laughs> all gonna end up an anti hero. So lemonade. Hard. <laughs> so hard. Um, okay. Uh, I yeah. hope you enjoy. Yeah, and he just takes it and he just kind of like stands there for a second. He takes a sip. And he's just like, uh... well, if you see any of your friends, you know, uh, you give us a call. They, Why are you uh, looking for them? Because they didn't show up to work. He says, "Well, they interfered with uh, with Jeff escorting <laughs> Jeff's investigation." <laughs> he said, was, he, "They interrupted Jeff escorting uh, a former employee out uh, safely <clears throat> before he could cause more trouble." And uh, you know, I think that their failure to return to work is certainly something that they're going to be reprimanded for. So, you should probably let us know. They exited the building safely, maybe. <laughs> And he says, like, well, that's out of our jurisdiction. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, right. Sorry. Yeah, I'll let you I'll let you know if I see them. It's so easy to just be like, great. We'll we'll do. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do like, that. 
he like r- raises and like tips his, his lemonade, takes a nice hearty swig. All right. I, I mean, I just feel like, you know, realistically, they'd be checking in on all of us. So, Damn. no, no, no. I, should, think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. You should text Aiden and tell him what has happened. I don't think we have phones now. It's like yeah. mid two thousands. No, we like the rich yeah. kids have yeah. phones. You could, like you could do the. I know you're a popular girl. Do you have money? Are you like middle, like firmly middle class or higher? If so, you have a cell phone. Okay. Aiden definitely has a cell phone. Okay. What was it? T nine. Right. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say T nine. It's when you have to. Yeah, like, you're on a Nokia bar it. phone. One of the ones that mm-hmm. I wanted Aiden to put aside for me. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We all got a track You're right. Phone. That's fair. That's a good idea. Yep. I will playing snake. Text yeah. Aiden. Yeah. Use the phones. Feel the early two thousand, early to mid two thousand. Yeah. Old school. Hear the clicking of like the buttons pressing <laughs> and depressing. <laughs> so I'm just Every text going. costs ten cents. Ten? Yep. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Like, yeah. I remember one time my sister racked up, like, an, an insanely high bill just on texting my parents for... That was a thing. Yeah. It was bad. Yeah. Now it's all... Mm. Well, I mean, I guess people don't really pay for data anymore, but... Yeah. Some it's included do. in your monthly right? subscription. Yeah. Rack yeah. up data. And Track phone still the ducks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you still rock a flip phone? Is that your phone? No, no. Yeah, so... Phone, I, I have this because uh, I had been late on my payment for my smartphone, so I needed to contact my boss during work. So I was like, Just buy a twenty twenty dollar twenty dollar burner phone. He oh, wow. has a burner phone for when he's late on his smartphone payment. <laughs> Not that I have been for many years. Yeah. This is a very old phone. I, don't I was gonna say, I wonder if it'll. Anymore. I wonder if it will still even work, great. Right? Like, Ken is a curator of historical phones. <laughs> My father-in-law still uses a flip phone, and it's the funniest thing. He hates texting, but he'll send a picture that he takes with it. So every year on my so birthday, funny. I get a picture of a written note on a sticky pad that just says, Happy birthday, because he can't Aww. text it. That's Aww. so, so I send it, so I send him a happy birthday picture from a smartphone <laughs> written on a stick. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's a good it's a good system we got. Hilarious. Anyway, uh, Aiden's phone buzzes. I guess. Yeah, just being okay. like, hey, mall cops are on to you, checking <laughs> all the checking all your workplaces. Where did you mm-hmm. guys? go i think that aiden went to balls for sure boners sports good store uh yeah because why else why wouldn't he go there right he's, yeah. he's definitely just like blending in among the jock looking people she and like, uh, they're still looking for sam yeah um and i think that um one he's just super excited that he got a text from stacy and he's like oh hell yeah dude he's like <laughs> He texts, hey, Stace. Like, <laughs> hey, Stace. <laughs> like, not a response to anything you've said. Like, where did you go? They're looking for you. They're still looking for Sam. Hey, Stace. Like, very nervous. <laughs> just like, good opening, dude. You got this. <laughs> Smooth. You just get dot, dot, dot back. <laughs> <clears throat> Which takes like a good like nine seconds to text because it was dot, wait, dot, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have to like cycle through the T9 to get to the yep. dot and then yep. cycle through it again. <laughs> oh man, we're really nailing the early 2000s vibe. Uh, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I think that he just says, uh, I, I don't think he knows where anybody else got off to uh, since we all scattered. So he, he tells you he's in the sports store um, and he says uh, he'll look out for Sam. He's going he's gonna to go look for Sam. And actually, I think that um, since we're just texting, um, Aiden's going to whistle. And there's always like birds. Like birds yeah. get into yeah, the Yeah, small birds. 100%. Small birds. So you, get... you hear. Oh, Sarah's like my moment. More <laughs> animals. Number two. You gave me a chance to play small animals. I'm going to play small animals. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you just hear from above you food? And yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> A- Aiden's gonna be like, shit, it's always food. He's like, this is why I hate talking to animals. They're just, 
<gasps> I and think I, they were gone by then, but you got to give up your Dunkaroos, man. <laughs> <laughs> I think, no, I think he's going to grab like sunflower seeds from the sporting goods store, right? Like they definitely sell like, or like big league chew. Big league chew is a thing Aiden would try to feed to burn. <laughs> just his beak just sticks together. And I'm like, shut up. Now you're not talking anymore, are you? No, uh, he's not like that at all. Um, no, he grabbed some sunflower <laughs> seeds. Do they have sunflower <laughs> seeds? That's good. Yeah, Sweet. baseball players. Yeah. Baseball players love yeah, they, sunflower they seeds. Do. Tons of seeds all the time. Yeah. 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 At the very minimum, like, at, like granola bars, they're like Hiking high protein. And snacks. Stuff, yeah. Clearly, I go there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, yeah, so he whistles a little bit and... Uh, He's going to steal some sunflower seeds. Uh, he's got the money, but he also doesn't care. He's a rich, preppy, spoiled kid. So he just, like, cracks open a bag, and, like, spills a little out in, like, an aisle. It's not stealing if you eat it in the store, right? That's right, yeah. They're gone by the time. I, I didn't have to check out. Um, yeah. So, yeah. The wrapper's still there. Yeah. yeah. The, the bird... Listen, it's Black Friday. This is just... This is expected. Part of the chaos. Yeah. 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 The bird um, just swoops down and just starts pecking at the sunflower seeds on the floor. I think he's just going to basically try and uh, tell the sparrow to go look for his friends. Like, can he, like, describe them well enough Roll to be like, can you go the find these people? Yeah, I think so. So. I shifted it to a two and Bill into four. I got a two. So it's a complication. Mm. What do you think? Find your friends and... No, that's... It has to be a somewhat success. I was going to say, it mm. finds your friends and then just stays there, but. No, it finds someone and then it's, it flaps it around them and it just squawks really loud. Like, hey, everybody, look at this person who's hiding. Oh, you know what? Yeah, like it gives away it their position. It gives the bird fucking yep. narcs on your friends. Yeah, there you so, go. But I also yeah. think that Aiden would be following it. So, like, it's also, oh, yeah, it's yeah. not only like a narking thing. Yeah. It's like a more suspicion as to why the hell Aiden has this thing with animals. You know what I mean? Everybody's like, looking around like, why is this bird freaking out? And it's like, ah! <laughs> yeah, and Aiden's like walk and Aiden's walking towards this person being swarmed by a little sparrow and she's like chill 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 and then like it's very awkward when it just lands on his hand and he's like yes thank you for finding now who did it find I have to ask you I'm in the changing room of the old armada trying to mop up rancid Mountain Dew in like the pile of discarded clothes that people just leave all over the fucking changing room floor on Black who, Friday who did you describe <laughs> to the bird because it was Ooh. success this is true. How many? There's one, two, three, four of you, and then Sam. I'm gonna roll a d6. Probably uh, you probably don't go looking for Stacy. You though. know where Stacy is. Oh, that's is. true. That's true. Yeah. Uh, it they find rat actually. I rolled. Uh, so. <laughs> so. Uh, so where where is rat? Rat. I think rat tried to follow Sam but lost them. So Rat's somewhere in Hiem. In the ancient armada. Oh, in no. Rat's lost in Hiem trying to find Sam. So this bird just, like, books it up to Rat and starts just, like, whistling like crazy. And she's mm -hmm. just like, hello, little friend, what is happening? Big scene. Yeah, there's a big scene all of a sudden. Oh, man. Remember but when it, the bird landed on Bernie's podium and everybody lost their fucking mind? Yes. <laughs> this is happening. The bird just lands near you. I was gonna say, like, everyone, like, oh my God. everyone might not think that, like, rats got superpowers. Ooh. Mm. Bird One of the mall cops sees the bird hanging out with rat in a yeah. weird way. And now they're like, ah, yeah. oh, this just might be another one of them. There's a whole um. cell of them active in here. Yeah, maybe yep. the, the, the bird, like, lands on her shoulder and is just like tweeting very loudly and she's just like <laughs> you've got the face that i make every time i see a chipmunk <laughs> yes so does a come, a, does a distinct chipmunk face. running in and seeing rad just like <laughs> yeah and as everybody else is like oh stay from the sparrow aiden's like okay 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 all right, all right and like and all of a sudden very strange that this sparrow calms down yeah it just foot Grab some more sunflower seeds. Just take it. It just like hops into your hands and like. Get the hell out of here! Get the get the hell out of here! Bye. <laughs> yeah. Um. Do you have a pet bird that you didn't tell me about? Yep. Pet. pet yep. Yes. Bird. Yep. Pet bird. Yep. Pet bird. That's uh. Yep. 
What's its name? Penelope. No, oh, that's all right. That's cute. That's cute. <gasps> hey, did you find Sam? Nope. That's what the bird. That's uh, what I'm doing now. Okay, because I <laughs> thought I saw him right in here. Oh, but this place. Uh, is he whistles again. He whistles again, and the bird comes right back, and he's just like, "It describes Sam," and like he's just like, "Don't." It's a very well trained, and then he's like, <laughs> "Bird." Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I didn't know you could train sparrows. Yeah, the carrier pigeons, sparrows. It's a you know the thing. Where's your squirrel friend? Is he also trained? What squirrel? What squirrel friend? What? The one no, I don't... you called Gerald and. He ate my lunch. We're not friends. He's... <laughs> you know, you named him. I don't typically name I my didn't... enemies. He. Yep, named him. <laughs> he stole someone's uh, name tag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> At this point, I mean, like Aiden is. You're not. The fucking awkward. Yeah, you 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 know something's up with Aiden. Yeah. And he's just like, uh, yeah. He's just like, I'm just trying to help. Find, uh, I think we should get out of here. I think you probably um, get like a t another text message that like Ted or someone is on your six or ten or whatever is headed your way. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, great. And also, isn't the Dells right outside the Hiem? All right, like, is, is it in like the... the Dells? No, yeah, well, I don't know. We'll make it so. I don't know where the Hiem is. I I was thinking it's where, like, Jordan's furniture is now. <laughs> this is very... Yeah, yeah, it, that's why I was picturing the Dell's truck, like, at the cross-section right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 100%. I'm just dead center, just, show. like, trying to monitor things. Yep. <laughs> Except that, yeah, it's a geyser show. Fucking so. like R.I.P. the water show. God damn, I love that yeah. thing. Um, yeah, Jordan's furniture. So, all right, so, yeah, so you get a text, and it's Ted on your six, and I immediately turn around, and... Rat, you don't even know. And I turn around and I'm just like, Ted's on, uh, coming up on us. We're gonna have to move quick. Yeah. All right, let's go. And she starts to pick. She picks a direction and goes. T H X Stace. Text. <laughs> Does not type out things. Yes. Types out Stace. No. <laughs> Does not respond. <laughs> yep. Yep. Right. Let's cut to uh, elsewhere. Jill and or Levi. Uh, I am finishing. Maybe. Mopping up uh, gross rancid Mountain Dew to the best of my ability. And I'm going to pull on a random one of these fucking discarded shirts in the bottom of this wow. uh, changing stall. I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. She's like fighting back tears. She's really upset. Um, she grabs a random fucking hat and puts it on like a baseball cap. Tucks her hair back. And she's just going to head out of the stall like head down. And walk like just very purposefully through the crowd, like out of there. I think mm, okay. Maybe at this point, as she's running, rat texts. Oh no! Wait, does Jill have a phone Ooh. or no? There's not. Uh, probably not. Yeah. Okay. Where is Jill headed though? Like, are you are you trying to find Sam? Are you like heading out of the store? Where are you like? You're trying. She's to trying to the find crowd? Sam. Hmm. Okay. Maybe yeah. she should roll to see if she finds Sam. Yeah, maybe Looking you can find Sam. Sam. That's yeah, a good right? idea. Yeah. Your roll. What's is your hero Five. at two or three? Oh. Um, there are that three. I'm still... a, you have a reroll. There are in fact two re banked rerolls. Two banked rerolls. There's re a reroll left over from Rune Quest. No, I don't think you know, I'm a, that, I'm probably okay. doesn't, that probably doesn't count. Okay. I'm okay not finding Sam if um I run it I just find Levi instead. Like get Yeah, that's fair. Okay, fair. That's, that's fine. fine. That's, fair. that's fair. That's good. So Levi, Levi is what you up to? <laughs> wandering. I, I wandered over into the uh the game and go. Game and go. The game and go. <laughs> oh god, I just realized that. I am yeah. fucking beautiful. Uh Probably just checking out the, uh, you know, checking out the deals on the latest games that are whatnot, Black Friday deals, see what's yeah. left over. I love that Levi's yeah. just taking it chill. Like, we all just booked it, but Levi's just like, well. Just wander away, look normal. Go ahead. 
Yeah. Just oh, gonna yeah. talk with uh No, you could you, you mirror. <laughs> you mirror. You mirror. Uh, just kind of looks around. There's more cameras inside the storefronts than in the hallway, but okay. Should go and like head again down with like the baseball cap up there. Super paranoid. Jason Bourne. <laughs> very paranoid. Yeah, Jason very paranoid. Bourne. I don't like, remember did you his see where Sam name? went. I saw them uh, bugging out the doors of the back corridor, and I kind of lost them in the. Le- uh, rest the leftovers of the crowd here. So I've just been kind of wandering and just doing some shopping. <laughs> I love it. You just be, it, you, you either, you know, you either last long enough to survive Black Friday or you become a Black Friday shopper. <laughs> <laughs> if you survive long enough, you become a Black Friday shopper. That's so fucking true. Your shift ends and then you start buying shit. <laughs> like, well, I'll go get some deals. Why not? Yeah. We made uh, some friends here. We'll get some more of uh, stuff that we had put aside, you know? She's just going to kind of... There's a Nokia set aside for, for you in the I antenna know. hut. And some shoes for me and my little sister. Oh. <laughs> uh, so she's just going to kind of... Just kind of like pause in this indecision, just like looking at you with just so much anxiety on her face. Wait to see if you're gonna say like fucking anything about the bottle or what happened. Just like trying to get a read on you about that incredibly stressful, weird thing that just occurred when you're just like Grand Theft Auto (laughs) Two. Guys, do you know what should happen? Merle should come like squeaking, rolling by, and just drop some random cryptic words of wisdom. <laughs> like, not maybe not words of wisdom, but some, like, helpful hint. And then just, like, go squeaking on. <laughs> I I do think, like, something like it. that. I love it. Right. Merle, I, I do, yeah. I do think something like that, where it's just, like, it's like we're all, like, working It's for time for the wise mentor mall. to come and point the youth in the right direction. Mm-hmm. But, like, he, he, like, points out that... Uh, we could get him fired. We could get Jeff fired, and he can't do anything to us. Mm. What do you mean? How? I mean, we're all working for the mall. He's a security guard for the mall. Like he came up to uh, Levi and Rat, and we're like, "I'll punch a kid." <laughs> yeah, it all comes back to he's not afraid to put a kid down, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why we all abandoned our posts because we were intimidated. Mm. Yeah, like, hostile work environment. Now we can mm-hmm. work on uh, gathering just Ooh. dirt to get uh, Jeff fired. Oh, mm-hmm. in in the end, yeah, he's like, and you know, decisions. those sprinklers in the Heim haven't been working in five, six years. Out of code. <laughs> yeah, we're out of like, code. We can also just like plant incriminating stuff on him. He just drops yeah, the picture. number stays, for OSHA. <laughs> he's like, just <laughs> drops the number for OSHA. <laughs> There's probably security cam footage of him. You know, manhandling Sam. Accosting a child. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right? Um, that's Using a good idea. Necessary force. Merle's, you know, Merle's like, I've been around. <laughs> people, uh, people come and go. Every now and then, you know. All right. Some bad apples turn up. <laughs> Damn. I was just going to say. It's a very God. different kind of Merlin. <laughs> Every now and then, some bad apples turn up. <laughs> so Merle's just uh, like fucking just hear the squeak of the car as Merle's approaching the GameStop. Game and go. The game, game and go. 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 Sorry, the game and go. <laughs> uh, and he's he's mopping up some like I don't know spilled puke urine slushy. Who knows? It's 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 a it's a spilled uh, Priscilla falafel. Yes. Hey, so all all of them. <laughs> Uh, and you guys just, like, kind of, like, under his breath, hear him go, You know, there's no place like home to find your friends. Hmm. Just yeah. hinting to everyone that everyone's in him. Go to him. The home store, yeah. When you're here, you're him. When you're here, you're him. Oh! Perfect. <laughs> That's exactly what I was imagining. All right. 
Yeah. She's gonna Jill's gonna kind of get herself together a little bit and then give you a more collected look, like, and just head toward the ham. <laughs> I'll follow after I make my purchases. <laughs> <laughs> what? One sec, though. One sec. I just just, just, heard this game's here. really good. I'll just be like, "Here, I paid for it. Can you just keep it here, and I'll be back." Yeah. Um, I think that's a perfect way to to go into the closing scenes, right? Like, uh, the day's wrapping up, and like we just need to get out, kind of thing. Um, find Sam. Make sure Sam. Find okay. Sam. And then uh, I actually have a funny idea for the last scene as well, the after hours, which obviously won't be because it's Black Friday or whatever, mm. but after shift. Um, In the parking lot. It's just parking. Just at the Red day. Robin across the street. Um, the, 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 blue the Blue Jay. The Blue the Jay. Blue ah. The Blue Jay. There we go. Nice. Yes. Nice. Um, okay. All right. So we all end up in Hiem. Um, get what about Stacy? What about Stacy? Yeah. You just get a text. Why are you walking to him? Yeah. And I think that <laughs> a- Aiden's, Aiden's just like, um, Aiden texts when Levi and Jill get there and says, um, we're all, <laughs> we're all in the couch section. Uh, they kind of cordoned it off after the fire. Um, like, yeah. Or, like your shift's almost done. Just leave, like leave 15 minutes early. Come, come, hang out. Oh, I mean, it's fine. I'll just leave the truck. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't care. She's like, totally, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, but now we gotta find Sam. So, where in him would Sam be? You did send out a bird. Birds. Oh, this is true. Should There's I roll for bird? Yeah, bird? The beard. Yeah, roll, roll hero. To roll, see bird, roll for bird beard. Comes back. Ro- roll for bird. Roll for beard. Oh, I got a one. I got oh, a one. Okay. We're in a him. It's a beard, not so a bird. So beard comes back. Beard. beard. Yeah. So with a J. Every, everyone gathers together and is like, all right, where do we look for Sam? And at that moment, beard just comes swooping back in and just like lands and stares at him and just, Sam? Yep. Um, so basically flies off or, you know what I mean, leads the way. I think this is where Stacy's ability would come in really good too. Yeah, I was um, thinking that too. Scam but, around. uh. He's hiding in a modular sofa. Or I was thinking, I mean, like, um, like you said, like, like you joked about earlier, Jill, like, it'd be really easy to hide in, like, the furniture warehouse. The, yeah, the stock room. You know what I mean? Um, He's got the box arranged as, like, a little fort when you go in there. Like, <laughs> But I was going to say, like, if we wanted, I think this is a perfect opportunity for, like, each of us to use each of our skills, actually. And, like, just, just for, like, a once in a scene kind of thing. Okay. You know? <clears throat> like if there's like a door, like a locked door, it could have like a electronic lock, mm-hmm. you know, um, or, you know what I mean? It's just little things like where it, it all starts coming together once we all are together, you know? I mean, once you talk to the bird and the bird starts to lead us toward <laughs> Sam, I'm just going to straight out say like, you're like Kyle, aren't you? I'm going to look at who you're looking at. Who are you looking at? Aiden. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. We're just like threes. A, a couple of us all like look at one another like, who did you? But oh, then it comes oh, to me oh. and I just go like, uh, no, Kyle was way better at this stuff than I was. I don't mean am. you're smart like Kyle. I mean, you can do things. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. With squirrels it's... and birds. <laughs> Not yeah. just squirrels and birds, but yeah, yeah, they're not as cool as you think. For the record, <laughs> like Aiden's just kind of like really downplaying his like. It's like, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I grew up thinking everyone did that, but Wait. I learned quickly not to do that. Fuck! What do you know about Kyle? <laughs> Did we all know about Kyle? Or like, yes. is it just like, yeah, yeah. So yeah we, we all knew about Kyle individually, but we don't know that everybody else, but the uh, others gotcha. knew. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. I know he was a good kid and he was special. Right. And no, I don't think he ran away. I don't think he ran away either. He kind of got taken out just like Sam was earlier, so. Starting to think that there's a pattern here. I think Jeff knows where he is. Yeah, I think Jeff's pretty fucked up. 
<laughs> Jeff's a pretty. Project. I think we should fuck Jeff, Jeff up. Pretty. <laughs> Look, one of us is gonna just say it, right? Kyle had fucking superpowers. Okay. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> Someone's gotta say it. Ah oh, shit. Yeah. Man. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you have fucking superpowers, just pointing at Aiden. What are you pointing at? Aiden. I mean, they're oh, like okay. minor yeah. powers at best. <laughs> they're like. They're like they're like they're less than powers. super. Yeah, yeah, they're not quite super. But yeah, I mean, if it works on more than birds and squirrels, and you <laughs> ordered a squirrel attack, I think that <laughs> yeah, fair he could goes, be more yeah, effective yeah. with you know a dog. <laughs> he, he's just like, uh, yeah, you would think so, but he's like, dogs don't live at the mall. Like dogs the are really dumb. <laughs> service, yeah, service dogs, right? Is that just like, oh, that's true. <laughs> but yeah but yeah he's like yeah and then and cats uh, don't listen to anything <laughs> yeah cats are actually Aiden's favorite because they don't want to talk to him and he likes that <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah um so like, yeah I mean I, I guess maybe that's why uh you know a guy like me and a guy like Kyle you know kind of hit it off we're cool but uh he's like I don't know he's like Let's what, find what, Sam before Jeff does. Yeah. And the bird just like <laughs> flies right in front of like, you know, a back door, like a locked back door or whatever. These three kids, these kids just headed on over. Yeah. The bird just like stares up at the door and then just like pecks at it a couple times. And then Aiden just hears the bird just go, Sam? Sam? And then, yeah, Aiden's just like, all right, all right, food, 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 seed. Food? Like, yeah, just like in there. We're good. We're we're good. Thank you. Let the like, bird go. Out of his hand, like, <laughs> yeah. Try the door, but it's obviously locked. I made a Disney princess, guys. Yeah, Aww. you did. That's amazing. Uh, Team wholesome. Smitty and Chad wholesome. killed me earlier. Where he said, "This is that Shrek scene where Snow White sings the immigrant song." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Um. All right. So yeah. Um. So we're montaging our powers of how we. I mean, if you want, I just feel like like Seventh Eleven, not Seventh Eleven, Seth. Oh my God! Like Seven Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. Yeah. Seven Eleven heist from with a bunch of teenage employees. We get the scene of we get the scene of everybody's part in the final thing, right? Yeah, right. I I can see it both for finding Sam and for like trying to take down confronting Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, yeah. I think that I think that I mean again, if we were writing like a TV show or like a movie or whatever, it would be all of us finally getting together, finally all admitting to one another we have powers, using said powers to find Sam, and then as soon as we find Sam, Jeff was like, "Led me right to him." (laughs) You know what I mean? That's good. Yeah, Yeah. that's good. Yeah. Yeah. So that makes sense. I can like. Scan the area, find someone yeah. kind of hiding among some things, but can't get to them. Door right. is locked. Yeah. You know, I, I just kind of thought of it like the, one of the reasons why uh, Levi was just kind of, you know, just wandering out the mall, kind of like undisturbed because he was shorting out all the cameras as he was going oh, through. Oh, yes. nice. So good. Beautiful. Perfect. We get yeah, this, and like, so- this shot from a camera above the door, and Levi just looks up at it and winks, and then the camera zoops out. Yep, and we yeah. see we see Ted back in the control room of the security thing. She's like, what? Just slapping like, the monitor. What is going on? Yeah. All right. All right. Um, hmm. I guess I can take care of this door. <laughs> oh, wow. You're just oh, gonna- should yeah. decay the door. Yeah. Just decay the door lock. I can, I can. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I'll grab I'll grab the door handle and I'll just hold on to it. And it's gonna start to like rust and like bits of dust and flakes of metal are like falling off of it. Um it's twisting and getting pockmarked and making like all kind of horrible sound. I give it a jiggle and it's grinding and crunching and more dust falls and I give it another jiggle. And eventually like the the knob just like comes off and the locking mechanism is just like you can just shake the door open. <laughs> Yeah, and like, in. so and then I look back at you guys in. and I'll say, I'm like Kyle too. A- Aiden looks and just goes, That's a fucking superpower. I talked to Bert. Oh, <laughs> he's just like, So, like, whatever. Like, dude, that's awesome. 
rat absolutely runs straight at the door and just busts it open with her yeah. shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Healy's right into it. <laughs> oh my yes. god, yeah. Get some steam. Go to fist bump you, uh, Jill and just like, wait. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, it's, it's better you don't. Um, And then she'll just head into the, the warehouse and she's just all like, Sam, Sam. Bird, scan, which one? Oh, bird oh. left, so Stacy. Bird oh. left. Oh, yeah. Stacy, it's you to find him hiding in an yeah. ottoman. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just scanning around, and yeah, I guess we'll find him. Or he's in, a, he's in a box for it, probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Move some have, you ever stuff seen, around. have you ever seen people who, like, go into, like, uh, pull-out mattress couches, though? Like, you could just, <laughs> like, just like, no. it's, like, in, like, a thunder blanket inside of a couch. Like, <laughs> Sorry. Gosh. Yeah. Stacey so will just be like, that one. There. He's mm. there. Right. Just, like, gives it a look like, wait. Yeah. All of us go, oh. I see shit. It's no big deal. Let's just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I see shit. It's no big deal. Fuck, is it everyone at the mall or everyone in Miss Patterson's home room? <laughs> like, yeah, what's right. the connection? Yeah. We're all here in the radioactive sewage flood of 2003. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Rat, like, uh, takes her drumsticks out of her pocket and grabs it. And she goes, all right, my turn. And then she runs up to the, the, the thing he's hiding in. And then she just does that thing out loud that I do where I make the Tom sounds, but with the drums. And she's like, da 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 And then, like, she drums a beat in the air. And as she does, the couch cushions just, like, slowly like rise and then do like a little head bang as they make their way away. <laughs> just, like, she transformers inside. a couch. Just... Yeah, she transforms a couch and it just like does a little like, you know, the stuff moves. And just hold the drumsticks like, yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> cool. Yeah, and then pops s- out. <laughs> Sam just like fetal position in there. It's like, hi. Sam. Hey, dude. <laughs> I was like, it's like, Sam. You good, buddy? <laughs> Oh, my Sam. Yeah, he's like, uh... <laughs> you made the fetal position motion so yeah, like fair, fair, Sam. fair, that's me. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. I did it. I'm embodying, I'm embodying Sam. Uh, he looks up and he's just, uh, he's just like, yeah, I was just gonna wait for a while and then sneak out the back. Um, but, uh... Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. Excuse me while I shift roles. And Jeff's just like, you're not going anywhere. I saw all that weird stuff that you guys were doing. Like looking at things, sure, so weird. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I'll just turn around and face (laughs) Jeff. Face is so sassy. I love it. Um, That's like aunt. That's yeah, for sure. Um, But yeah, and Jeff is just like, um, Jeff is just like, look, it's my job to keep this place safe. And uh, he goes, I can't have people like you making this place he's like you're danger you're a danger to to good shopper you're a I'm bad sorry. cop i can't even say that with a straight face you're um, a bad mall cop <laughs> yeah and he's just like um he's like well he goes i can't say you're very good at your job you haven't been there for the busiest day of the year so good on you Dude, and he goes come like, on like almost tasered our friend <laughs> and he's just like um your friend, he goes, um, needs to be studied. Is that and basically, you and sound then he's just crazy. Like, he's just like, oh, he's like the bookstore kid. And he just goes like, yeah, um, yeah, we, we, we found out about him um, and thought for sure uh, he, he needed special, uh, special attention. We're not going anywhere with you. And he's just like, um, yeah, I figured you'd say that. And he's just going to make a show of force, but I don't know what he's really going to do against. So, so. Five he just superhero spanking these kids in a wide arc. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> taser mace. And he's just like, we could do this the easy way. Or, oh, yeah, that's the line. We could do this the easy way or we could do this the hard way. <laughs> That's what he says. I'm sure he has mall cop buddies. Now's the time for your alone. couch, yeah. Sarah, to Here just comes fucking Ted. mow him yeah. over. 
the couch. Just Wait, yeah. Can, yeah, hold on. Rat absolutely fucking de- like because well, Sam's still on the couch, so she just like and the taser should electrocute him. Levi. <gasps> yep. Oh my god! Yeah. Wait. Rain was genius. So Rat just scurries back, and she just goes. Distracted, I got this. And then she starts banging a tune on the side, and it's just like, okay, rat, whatever. <laughs> and Aiden, Aiden's looking around, and he's just like, guys, I really don't know how I'm supposed to help here. This is like, see what I mean? Aren't you a football player? And then he's like, baseball. And then he goes, oh, and he like grabs something, and he just throws, <laughs> just throws it at the guy <laughs> hard, I guess. Uh, There's like a the foot of a. a I'm rolling. I'm rolling here on that. I tied, so it's a complication. So uh, he dodges, but it hits Ted behind him. <laughs> Stop, poor Ted. Ted's like, oh! oh, oh right oh, in the nose. That's assaulting an officer. You're in yeah, yeah. trouble. You're not yeah, an right. officer. You're a mall cop. I just yell back. <laughs> and he's just like, citizen's arrest. <laughs> Jack and Levi, do it. Roll. Yeah. Roll. <laughs> Yeah, we're all just looking around at oh, yeah. one another like, does anybody have any, like, powers? Like, Rat any- seems to be intensely <laughs> focusing on doing something. <laughs> Rat's, like, doing the focus the hand thing, too. They don't need to, but they are. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Rubbing I'm on gonna, their head, like... <laughs> I'm gonna see about, uh, uh, I guess, overloading his taser. Ooh! So that I just... Very good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah roll uh, hero. In the end, we were less hero and villain and more, uh, yeah, I guess it was hero, anti hero. We're maybe. teens, though. It was fine. More it's punk great. and authority, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. We should have just stuck with corporate cred, I guess. We really yes. should have. That's basically yeah. what that is, punk and See, authority. See, but it, testament to how good Matt did with <laughs> designing this game. Just... just tailor it to whatever axis your group likes to swing on. Yeah. yeah. Ken? Uh, I, Ken? I did get a, a, a three. Uh, I was right in the middle with both of them. Ah, uh, so complication, complication, success with the complication. Uh, mm. Maybe it shocks him, but instead of his hand seizing and clenching around it, he manages to drop it, so it only shocks him for like a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's kind of or like like, maybe like a uh, you have to overload, right? Yeah, like overload. So like it it. Well, he gonna he throws it because it's hot and it catches another couch on fire. Yep. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, that's great. And, that's and great. those and those sprinklers are not the code. Like, hot again. Those, we talked <laughs> about those sprinklers. Me. Those sprinklers aren't sprinklers up to code. Are, yeah. The sprinklers aren't up to code. Merlin comes by with like a mop bucket, just <laughs> <laughs> uh, another fire starts, and I was like, I think that one was on you, bud. <laughs> we can pin that on him. <laughs> Carrying I'm around gonna record this... him with my camera. Do I have a camera phone? Mm, <laughs> no, it's 2000. Uh, Damn it! There's no you pictures. Get, you get the grainiest picture possible. Yeah. <laughs> Aiden, what are you doing? Your dad has a yacht. Threaten to sue him. <laughs> and then, like, uh, do you, yeah. He's like, I hate using. Do you know who my dad is? <laughs> yes. <gasps> That's your second superpower. Money. So <laughs> Uh, Your second superpower is privilege. Yeah. Privilege. Oh <laughs> like no, no. Does anyone else do <laughs> anything daddy. before the summoning ritual is complete? No, I think I uh, take it away. Take it away. Yep. Boom down. So finish them off. So <gasps> Raz is just like focusing and she's drumming. And she's like got like all these different things, and then you guys hear this like, rumbling. And God, it's like me and the cat men all over again. Yes. Ah, uh, you hear this rumbling. And, and we're in him. <laughs> we're in him. It's it perfect. all comes back to him. Uh, it's like rumbling in the distance and then the door fucking busts open and it's the dragon and the unicorn just like in staring inside with the rabbit and the lion right behind them and they just fucking stampeded and the rats just like fucking jamming out to shit oh i forgot to roll fuck yeah yeah please do roll Okay. Um, if you fail, re-roll on it, man. You yeah, you get the re-roll. Um, I, I, so I rolled a three, which is my my hero with complications. Oh, complications. Mm. I'm okay with rat also. I got this. No, no, I got this. No, no. The complication oh. is a bunch of carousel things just ran off of the carousel. Yeah. And everyone in the mall is like, What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Yeah, 
I'm okay with yeah, that happening. That's perfect. Yep. There's no way to hide that. Yeah. We're in big yeah. trouble. We gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Little we piece from go. Tilt comes running out of the <laughs> out of Tilt and just hops onto a carousel. The cut. Co- the complication is that there's a kid on one of. They're just screaming. It is oh the tilt child. It's the kid. It's, oh it's God, the tilt no. child. Oh. It's on the He's dragon. Like, Hold it on for dear life. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. So uh, the animals successfully trample over... Trample the popo. Jeff and Ted? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Jeff and Ted yeah. are, have been... Jeff uh, and Ted? Jeff is dead. Is... <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> Should we die? Uh, fucking complication. He did not die. Complication. Complication. Ted died. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, I don't man. think so. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. And Sam looks up at all of you, and it's just like, uh, like Sam like crawls out of the couch, and it's just like, you guys too? Yeah, buddy. And he's just like, that's awesome. And he goes, it wasn't a candle earlier. I sneezed. <laughs> Should we? Where do we Fuck go? Uh, now. Uh, and he's just like, exits back there. He's like, uh, yeah, uh, out, loading, of loading lo- out of the loading, loading bay. Loading bay. Loading bay. Yep. Okay, and right. they... It also would have been hilarious if we all loaded into the Dell's truck and just yeah. ran <laughs> bitch the oh, front oh, car. That's we pretty should funny. do that. Yeah, that's really that's good. That's amazing. We might get wire it. Yes. Yep. Get yep. to the Dell's truck. <laughs> Trust me. <Yeah. laughs> uh, excellent. I love it. Oh my god, we'll just run around and charge off to the, on the store for the Dell's truck. I love it. Honestly, he's the mall cop. He'll get fired for like this chaos anyway. Gross negligence <laughs> like, on this one for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, he set fire to the uh, couch. Yeah. 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 You know? Dude, the stalker of him, there's so much cardboard in there. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah. many OSHA violations this guy is guilty of. <laughs> Unsafe it. working conditions. It's perfect. We should just ride off into the sunset in the yep. Dell's truck. That's so good. Just charging right. the Dell's truck with all these kids just running through, yeeting people out of the way. Out of the way. We out should also way. have, like... Sam's hand, I'm just towing them along. Like We should also just have, like, a tail string of, like, carousel <laughs> things following run- behind. <laughs> it's like, you know, you know when you see, like, wild right. horses running out in the... They just oh, scatter. It's like, we're just like... It's a, yeah, it's like a Dell's truck and a bunch of carousel things just running off. Wait, no. <clears throat> through the mall. So, so for for so what happens is they they <laughs> Dell's they is stop at the side of the, the lemon. Dells. Do you guys remember that? <laughs> that you just like you leave you just like manipulate some electronic to do like a lemon shaped light, like the bat signal, and the Dell's truck comes careening up, <laughs> and the door just slides open. It's <laughs> Black Friday. They had those huge spotlights for a grand opening. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sign of the, the lemon. lemon, just a big lemon. <laughs> as as they're like driving away, Rat leans out the window and just yells, "Scatter, my children!" And the the fucking carousel things just fly to the wind in various directions. Excellent. Like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, we're in so much trouble. And Stacey's like, I'm not going to mix the rest of this with the mint. And we're like, good, just pass the ball around. <laughs> yeah, so I got the peppermint schnapps right there. <laughs> is this truck driving? And Levi's like, the truck is driving. <laughs> yeah. The truck can't get drunk. Yeah. Uh, that's that's just logic. Stacy hears something from inside one of the, like, lemonade containers, like a, like a, like a thud as the truck we have off. Gerald. No. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. Love it. That's the best freeze frame to end this session on. It's just a squirrel jumping out of a frozen lemonade container. A <laughs> big wasted squirrel. The squirrel. Are we driving drunk? And then it's just credits. That's great. And it's like starring and it says all of us and then it's just like and Gerald. Gerald. <laughs> Gerald as Gerald. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, man. Beautiful. It took us a while to get there, but I hope that we did it, Super oh, Ball yeah. Kids some justice. I think that was a blast. If anyone <laughs> wants to adopt Gerald as an NPC, you have my blanket permission. <laughs> Please. Ooh, Honestly? good question from Smitty. What 80s hit starts playing right at that moment? Oh, man. 
Uh, Sarah, what's the one that are, always plays? Don't you? <laughs> yep, that That's one. The only one I know. Um, that one. Forget about. Oh, see, I feel like I feel like it'd be yeah, great music to have a drum fill. I feel like oh, it'd be great yes. to have one of those really big do, '80s do, do, do. arena drum fills. Yes. Um, I, mean... I can feel it coming in the air tonight. It's pretty funny, mm -hmm. but also. Um, Wow. Maybe, I, I feel like Van Halen. Yeah, I'm, really looking at, I'm looking at 80s hits like, right now. Where so, we I, I mean, there's, there's my, my go to, which is always my favorite. Now, hear me out on this one. Uh, it's just Stacey's mom. We're leaving. I don't even know when that came out. It's only been like 90s, it's, it's getting okay. to 6 a.m. and the sun is rising, and we're riding out into the sunset, and you hear Wham's Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. <laughs> <laughs> <Bam>. <laughs> I did forget that this was supposed to be early 2000s, so like it could be, oh, you know, yeah. I feel like there could be a really good one there drummy. too. Yeah. Good Charlotte. <laughs> drummy. I don't know. Wow. The anthem. The anthem. The anthem. Good Charlotte oh, would be so funny right there. Yeah. Anyway. I mean, bye Stacey's bye bye mom. from Bye Bye Bye. Bye Bye Bye. As we're just yeah. breaking out. Bye Bye. Yeah. 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 See, oh, you get, perfect. You got your bye, pick. Bye. You got your pick. Uh, uh, love it. So anyway, thank you, everybody. Uh, please, you got a week left to go check out the Kickstarter for Mall Kids. Yes. Um, repost the link real quick. It is a, it's a zine. Um, it is very affordable. I think that, um, you know, you can see how versatile this game can be. But even just as written, it's very simple. You just need a couple D6. You have that if you own Monopoly. Um, you know, it's very fun to kind of sway between corporate and cred or whatever you decide your stats would be. You can play it in a wholesome a, and no, chaos, Do wholesome it. and yeah. chaos. Divide your yep. friends. <laughs> I mean, there's a couple other ones too that I think were really good. I mean, like there's one for the spooky mall that was like, uh, you could just do spooky and teen, like anything dealing with the real world, you roll teen, anything rolling with spooky, you roll Super spooky. Natural. So, like, but if you get too lost in the spooky, you don't, you know, like what you're. You're weird well, in the real time world, space, right? You're yeah, somewhere yeah. else, or yeah. And like, or if you get too teen, you don't see the supernatural. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. so, like, it's cool. You could do a lot with this very simple system. It's cheap. I mean, like, it's it's a zine, so you know you can get the PDF. I think for it's it's pretty cheap. Um, super fun system. Very versatile. Somebody. So I had an idea for a good scenario in Mall Kids <clears throat> after we picked our scenario, and it's oh, yeah? like the, the you know. The birds in the fucking mall, they shoot those birds with BB guns after hours. That's oh, what they no. do to those birds. So no. it's the kids trying to save the birds. Yes. Aiden is there. Good one. Do it. Aiden is there. They shoot the kids um, versus kids versus authority trying to save the birds. Uh, yep. if you That was my power fantasy as a child, saving the birds. <laughs> um, if you so I'm taking a look at the Kickstarter now. If you donate nine bucks, you get all mall kids content, including the new one as a PDF. Nine dollars, and you're gonna get so much great playable game, you know. And like, and I think at the end of the very first one, uh, he has a thing about um, like almost like apple locking, um, which is really cool. Um, it might be in the expansion one, but uh, he has a thing where like you can revisit your kids, like, and like the premise is your adults that go back to the mall like Aww. 10, 10, 15 Aww. years later. Um, so it's like a, a trip down memory lane kind of thing. Uh, which I know what we did uh, to ear tonight anyway. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> this is in real life, yeah. yeah. So anyway, I really, I, I highly recommend everybody go check it out. It, at the very least, um, it's the nice thing is it's reached its goal. So if you go to the Kickstarter and you pledge a reward, uh, you're going to get it. It's like it's it's been funded. It's coming out. It's going to be great. Um, and what's great is the more that we can, you know, fund this project, uh, there's actual play series as stretch goals, but more importantly, what I love about indie designers and how they're doing their Kickstarters lately is that basically just the more money that they make, um, it goes to all of the people who worked on it, the artists, you know, like the designers, the people who were involved in the project, because even for, you know, like simple games like this, I mean, it's a lot of work to design the game, to play test it, to get the layout right and yeah. do all that stuff. So like, um, it's just a great way to, Support your indie designers, you know? Yeah. It's great. Yeah. So, 
Thank you everyone so much for joining us on this special episode of DMs After Dark featuring Super Mall Kids. Mm. Um, if you liked what you see here, you can follow us on all the social medias at DMs After Dark. You can also email us at dmsafterdark at gmail.com. You can check us out on all of the podcast apps under DMs After Dark, which has all the audio recordings of our Twitch streams. Uh, Rady just wrapped up his solo series. Troy's got some solo stuff coming up soon, which is very mm -hmm. exciting. Um, and just anything else that we feel like putting out into podcast land. Um, mm. It is based on any podcast app. Um, yep. You can also check us out on YouTube. All of our streams that happen on a Friday go up the following Monday. So this will be up on Monday for anyone who wants to check it out. Um, and uh, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, uh, tune in next. Be the squirrels. Week also, <laughs> be the squirrels. Yeah. Until next yeah. time, be the squirrels. Be the squirrels. I just remembered that I but have not a streaming button. <laughs> I have the power. Oh boy. Good night, everyone. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>